Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday now, I think. Tuesday, I'm still in Comic-Con mode, so Tuesday for Collider Live. And hell of a, hell of a group we got here today and on the, uh, the Collider Live-ish. So we call it the Collider Live-ish? Sure. Ish. That works. Today, it's ish. <laughs> Collider Live-ish. Because we're kind of live. We're, we're kind of really, live. We're still kind of uh, zoned out, I hey, guess. We're totally live. We're just... Kind of zoned out. Collider live. Well, and and Dorina, and Dorina is somewhere cut out of a picture. All right, so well, that we'll, was, we'll talk about it in a second. Oh, I want to sorry. introduce everybody here too. My bad. So first, introducing Miss Roxy Schreier. How are you? I'm great. Nice to see you. I'm, ooh, I'm ooh, killing ooh. it. Yes, you are. Uh, Mr. It. Mark Riley. <laughs> Hi. Producer extraordinaire. Sure. Cody and Alex chilling in the booth <laughs> and Hi. coming back once again. This guy. Winston Marshall. Hey. Yeah. Hello, Winston. How are you? Yeah. Hey, I, I, you know, I slept for like four very broken hours last night. So. Why broken? Uh, you know, I, I I think it was just weighing on my heart. Like, like you know, Luke P from the Batch writes a piece of shit. So. Oh, you know what's funny? <laughs> Wait, you could be our Josh. What yeah, happened? No, because like, because Men Tell All was crazy. I oh heard, my right? God, it was wild. I heard it was crazy. I, I, I mean, you you literally took. Men, Any back. Fights? men, men have already been back like a good century right, and right. like maturity. You've taken that shit back like what from happened? dinosaur. This fights? Is, well, they didn't. They didn't get into a full on fist fight though. I thought it was gonna happen. I was excited, Damn but it. like first of all, Hannah's fire in the fact that he showed up to a rose ceremony he was already like banned from. Right. And he was but like, he came back after, after, he got she, sent him home. after yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. get up, oh, shut up. Right. Well, yeah, remember. She came, they, she, yeah. He came back. Yeah, because Makuga talked about that, that yeah. in the preview that they but were in I his face. But I didn't know if that was real. If yeah, she... yeah, because all three of them like, yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Yeah, right? well, yeah, well, exactly. So he walks up and like they don't know he's eliminated at first. So he just gets in line like he's part of the rose ceremony. And like, ah, oh, shit, we thought this dude was gone, but all right. And then she walks in and goes, the hell are you doing here? Like, you need to leave. And he steps forward. And he's like, no, nah, until I talk about what's on my heart, you ain't whatever, whatever. Oh and she God. goes, absolutely not. And takes the roses and put the whole pedestal, picks it up, puts it in front of, like, walks past him. And is like, no, nah, we're done with this. And then he came back. He's like, no, you're going to listen to me. And all three dudes are like, what you want, Doug? Like, get the right. fuck out. Like, go. And then that was it. They, they got him on the stage, and he was talking. And it was literally watching a serial like abuser like talk about how he wasn't wrong at yeah. all and everybody being like you're out of your mind what did he like, say well like all sorts of like i didn't make any mistakes and you know like she just needed to hear me out and see what i had to say about it because clearly like she didn't know what she wanted and blah blah and all the women in the audience are like are you out of your mind like right. he because he's just and he wasn't very good live Oh, dude, yeah. he's the absolute worst and person. And he's probably going on Bachelor uh, in, in Paris. I pray to God he doesn't, because there's, there's then I can't no, watch. He, he, he's, he's going. He, he's ratings. He's yeah. going. Let me ask you guys this, because I have a lot of, um, and they happen to be conservative, that's relevant for this, friends that agree with him. Do, was there any part, I don't watch the show, yeah, yeah. was there any part of you guys who that was like, oh, there's part of him that's in the right. Here's the only thing that, if someone conservative wants to say that, if you're if you're like a super like hardcore religious person, he's a born again Christian. So for him, he's very adamant about not having sex again until right. he gets married. But again, that's that's a conversation that one you're not going to put that on anybody. And he was like, if you've had sex with these dudes, it's, like screw you. Right. There's a different like, way. To, there's a different way to approach it. Had he had said. Look, I, I've gone through things, things in my life, and my my views have changed, and I have to be honest. But I also have to understand this is what the, this is what this process is. It does bother me knowing that the night before you're with another man. When I believe marriage should or sex should be saved from marriage, if he said it like that, he did not. That's not what he said. He didn't at say all. it at all. He was basically just like. Uh, I try to find a way to forgive you, but I know you basically saying I know you wouldn't do that because it's it's the devil's work is more or less what it was what he was kind of hinting at. Um, Man, that whole hometown was creepy though because like his whole family like I. I grew up pretty religious, but like when you walked in, it felt very cultish in the way that they were like, and now we're all gonna pray. Like he even right. said when he she eliminated him, like, can we stop for a second? Can I pray for you before right. I go? And she was like, get no. the hell out of here, like lost. right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's he's just he 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 seems very he's very narcissistic. He's very narcissistic. He's broken and, too. Is, is yeah. there something something cracked in his eyes? But he yeah. anyway he was on. Uh, he, he there's no chance they don't put him in Bachelor in Paradise. Right. There's no chance. But do you think anybody's gonna like him? No, no, that's exactly that's why point. he's going to be on. Mm. Yeah. He'll be eliminated pretty quick. Probably. He'll be eliminated pretty quick unless and then they find come back. unless they find some someone else with his beliefs because there are there probably is someone out there that thinks he was really cute. There's always but they happens have to have been the on villain. the show, right? Yes, there's always someone who thinks that the villain got a bad edit 
And a lot of times the villains are the, they're the ones who find love on the damn show. One and, of them and just got married. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, the who? Goose and and oh, and Goose. Crystal, the two of them got right, together right. and, and got villains. married. And they were villains. Yeah. So like it happens. So and plus they probably just want him to come on, even if he's there for an episode, because they brought that guy. Uh, there was another villain in a couple of years ago. The guy who just said, uh, "Yeah, I like milk. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite lines of all time." <laughs> Have you ever, I don't if know we that could, one. Cody, if you could, if you could find this is a sound clip that is just so great that I've, I, I, this is the first time he's talking. He was on this two on one date and he said something. He's like, "What do you want, milk?" He's like, "Yeah, like milk. It's delicious." It's like, <laughs> was it Jean Claude Van Damme? If you, put, if you put milk, delicious, Bachelor, I'm sure it'll pop up. What was it? Whatever happened to Juan Pablo? There it is. Look. Oh, yeah, first I know one. what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, this is it's it's Chad. Chad is. The, I do. I um, oh, this is the one season I watched. I have this to tell guy. you guys, I've worked with him so many really? times, and oh, I really? adore this guy. And he's a lunatic Lun- on the show. Lunatic yeah. and has awful opinions in life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I really do right. I, like I, milk. I like yeah. Him, yeah. yeah if we, if we, if we, if we, this is a sound clip, Cody. I beg of you to uh, to pull because I, I've I've wanted it for a long time, and we just started talking about it. But wait until you hear this; it's the best. You, you are so angry. Yeah, you are so angry about that. Have a glass of milk, man. No, like, chill don't like milk. milk. Don't like milk. Don't need any. Well, you should. No, it's delicious. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of fire, though. Yo, he did a show at AfterBuzz for a really long time. After this? Remember this? Yeah, okay. after this. And because I met him doing the Tomorrow Show, he's yeah. come on so many times. Really? I have had, I can't even tell you how many hours of conversations with this man. Nice. Did, did he do a he ranking is, episode of well, they put him. He's wild. Well, they put him on They put him on Bachelor in Paradise, and he. I think he got kicked out after the first two because he had, like, but uh, you've also seen guys that have been portrayed as, like, good guys who turn out to be villains. Like, that guy mm-hmm. last year, he was, like, the Jason Momoa guy. Oh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Like yeah, that guy, that yeah, guy yeah. turned out to be a real scumbag. So, um, There's a Momoa looking guy on Big Brother as well. You should watch. What show is that? <sighs> Oh, sorry. Do you watch? I do not watch Big Brother, oh but I have too many people that oh do, so I'm, I'm scared I'm going to get caught into the it. The most soon. amazing thing just happened. <clears throat> Tell me, come on. You guys aren't going to understand. No, no, no. I'm, no. I'm, come on. Yeah, no, no. When I'm ready for it. Her. So I'm here's what happened. It. So the old, every year, there's an older person in the house. Yeah. Like, you know, it's all young, hot, 20 and 30 year olds, and then there will be like a 50 something year old guy that comes in who's got a wife and kids and is there because he wants to win Big Brother, and he's always the first to go mm. but this year he's making major waves and they eliminated him thinking there's no way he comes back because there was going to be four people competing he won that competition came back in the house then won hoh and now is the power to eliminate he's shaking shit up yo man i wow. I, 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 I want to see this did this you understand the, a word of that no i, no. I, 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 I started i just pretended I like i did no. and I, i'm really no, excited so right good. now it's I didn't so a word of good that. It's so good. I needed subtitles. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> was bad. Uh, you know, I, was... I need somebody to just suck it up and watch. Uh, Alex? All right, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a promise. I will never watch. Because <sighs> right. um, your wife. I can try, I guess. That's pro- no, it's, actually, this one's really, not just because You can't really try. Yeah. It's like a full blown. It's it. three times a week. I'm going to watch from season. That is a what? lot. It's three times it's a week? Three That's a I'm going to watch from I season one ball. all That's the way through. be amazing. Last season was epic. I won't lose my this house. This season's leave, not leave quite as house? good. Leave my house. But also, there's a lot of bullying going on in the house. Don't like it. Uh, well, where, where's mm. where's uh, Melania to stop this, though? I thought that's, that was her big campaign. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand. Anyway, that's a ding. Uh, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. What, um, does that mean I won? won? Yes, you won. You won. You won. Hell yeah. Yeah. They yeah. did have uh, Scarmucci in the house last season. Scarmucci. So. <laughs> hey. The mooch. The mooch. Pretty similar. The mooch they call in him? the house. Did they call him the mooch? No. Then they, then was now he, I really hate that was show. Was he there for two weeks? They dropped a ball. There was like a whole thing. He wasn't even really there. I yeah. don't know how, how do you have it. They also had Kato the Kalen in there. And not call him the mooch. Uh, or this, I don't know. Hey, the mooch. Got a mooch. Is really they they That's the what they call me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. So, you know, oh, you know who's the best mooch, at those? He ate all the English muffins. The Ryan Lochte yeah. had amazing confessions. And he's dumb as shit, right? He was on there. So good. Oh my god! But that was Celebrity Big Brother. We're talking yeah. about oh, a whole okay. different game. Okay. Do you ever see the news reporters that, that like laughed Ryan Lochte out of the building? Mm-mm. It's it is so good. It, if we can try to find this clip, it's Ryan Lochte. Uh, let's see, news blooper maybe. Try to call it. I don't know if it, it'll it'll pop up. Speaking but, of yeah, that's it. That's it. This is it. So he's promoting his show, and <laughs> and these people. Let's watch them. Hey, Let's go towards the end. Just towards the end of the, 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 end of the interview. No, you got to go all the way back. You got to go back. I'll keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. Here it is, right here. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm getting used to it. And yeah. 
I mean, the first couple of days, it was a little weird. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, I was brushing my teeth and the camera was there. I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> they but, go to the bathroom? Know, I thought the this bathroom big was brother. off limits. No. On no. reality shows, they follow you into the, just to the bathroom? This is 2014. So you have to tell them what you're doing. Well, what would Ryan Lochte do? There's a, there's oh, that's like right. A, so he tried like a couple of these. I knew he wanted to be an actor. A mirror. God, where's the end of this thing? And then you have the bathroom. So right, and he's not going over the those area. Well, but the second, the second he leaves, watch anyway, what they I look do. It's to amazing. What Here, Ryan do. <laughs> he's into water sports, but that's ridiculous. Okay, Ryan, good luck to you. We'll be watching. And watch this. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> they're, right. they're alive. They're alive. <laughs> Throw up a picture. Throw up a picture. Yeah, that's what? the one that they yeah, don't watch. Like, like, seriously. How are they going to get enough material? <laughs> Look. What was the question that stumped him? Yo, this is why I love Oh, wait. Movie. That's what, 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 a, what a woman can say. Oh, what, what a woman can say. <laughs> I guess silence uh, impresses him. No, it's just a woman couldn't say anything. He is good looking. I need to say that. <laughs> True. This anyway, is, it goes on well, he's got that going for him. Yeah. Then yeah. she goes, we're going to get in trouble. Yo, this is why I love my people so much, man. Like, she just unabashedly <laughs> just <laughs> so <laughs> like this mother. But she can't help it. She literally, she's not meaning to. She just can't help it. No, I, but, oh. It's the same way. Yeah. Sexy. It really is. <laughs> that shit's funny. Oh, it's getting hot. What is it? You know, I'm a man at night and a man in the morning. <laughs> that's what he's told him. That's what, he, that's that's what, what he said? That's what he said to no. him. No. Yeah. yeah, that's why they laughed at it. So, I mean, like, technically true. <laughs> yeah, right. True. So, so anyway, so has he, has he continued this over on Big Brother? This kind of uh, It was. It, well, he's not on this season. He was on oh. Celebrity Big Brother season. But, yes, he was just like this. And you, like, almost feel bad for him because it's like he's a football player in a swimmer's body. Like, this is not how. What do you mean? It's like he has a million concussions. Oh, oh, oh. And like it's not, it's not the case. So it's like, not, like why is he just so? He, I felt bad because he kept saying things he didn't mean to say. You know, right. you make these alliances, you're doing all this stuff. He couldn't. Yeah. What did he do then? The, the the thing, the really scummy thing in the Olympics. What did he do? Oh, oh he, he like, lied ro- about. He, he, went, he, he went, was like robbed a store and then and, lied about and it. So he got robbed. Yeah. Right. 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 That's right. 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 You know who was on with him was Meta World Peace and. Uh, that was. Oh my God! That Is that still his name? Yeah. I, know, right. I thought he was Panda's friend. Didn't he rechange his name Did to Panda's friend? It? I saw him walking around. We're talking about Dennis Robin, right? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is Ron Artest. Ron Artest. Ron Artest. Ron Artest. Panda, right. Panda's friend. He so the. I this was say, last year, so. Yeah, well, he may have changed it back, but I know for a couple like seasons after he was Metal World Peace, he was Panda's friend, and then maybe he went back. Who's Panda. I don't know. I have no idea. Is it expensive to keep changing your name? I mean, he makes millions. I like know, but made. I mean, I wonder what the like. I think pro- it's like, just expensive. Like, what's the process? Like? Well, it's definitely oh, annoying. Of, yeah. Well, ask Diddy that. I mean, right. how many times did that right. dude change his name? Right. Well, that, well, he was always Sean Combs, tech, like legally. Right. Well, is like, that true? That was always his slave well, name. But then he went like Sean Lyon, and then he went like Diddy, P Diddy, Puff Daddy. Uh, but legally, did he change? It? I don't know. Or just I, I think he was always Sean Combs. He just changes his entertainer yeah. name, right? And, he's, and, he, yeah. and that's easy for him because he's like, "Hey, I'm, I make a lot of money. Call me this." Me- but this guy changed his name to Metal World. Peace. He was the only person. Oh, yeah, the Panda's yeah, friend. To the Panda's friend and the Metal World yeah. Peace, the basketball player formerly known as Ron Artest, is changing his name again. And this was, this was 2014. So oh, I don't so know. He what, went oh, no, so he went to, back he went to Metal World. He went on the show, and when you go into the booth, you're supposed to say who you want to leave, who you're trying to eliminate. Yeah. And he said the name of the person he wanted to stay. It's the first time I've ever seen that in Wait, Big Brother. Wait, did that? No, Meta. Oh. Do they call him Met? What do they call him? Mm, what do they call him on the show? I don't remember. It was, a, it was last year. MWP? I don't remember. He was so sweet, though, but he literally was like, I would like Christian. His closest friend in the house yeah. voted for him to stay, leave because he thought that meant stay. Oh, it was the no. only time oh, I've so ever he seen that. He voted him out by accident. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And so had the guy didn't know he th- and had no idea he had done that. Oh, no. No, it like started this controversy because there was only one vote that went towards that person. Oh. And they were like, who voted for me? And Meta was like, I think I did, yeah. but like didn't mean to, you know. <laughs> so he didn't go home. Then. No, that so would have been amazing. Can you take it back then? No, you can't. Tells no. It? no, no, you can't take Once it back. Once you tell the camera, it's set in it. stone. All right. He can't didn't say, know though. It's not like he was like, "Oops, I but did that wrong." That's the producer's fault too, though. Yeah. No. The producer's fault. I mean, the producer can say, "Hey, 
you, they're doing vote, the, they can do another take. Different. They can do another yes. take. Yeah, that your was, vote, they it's did. live. Your vote is live. But they can let him know. <laughs> but they can let him know though. Hey, like, listen, if you go you gotta say the person that you want to leave. Like, and that it, producer but, but why would they want to do that? that? That's right. Yeah. Yo, exactly. That's right. They went, Oh, he did good. the wrong thing. It's the Yo, same thing. My, my, wife, well, my wife was asking me things. You know, I worked on The Bachelor. <laughs> I didn't and, know yeah, that. I was a producer on The Bachelor, and like I, and so my wife was saying to me, like we were watching. She's like, when when Luke came back, she's like, that's the producer. Like she's like, she's like, you know, he that that's wrong because is that true? He, he, he wouldn't be able to get back unless they let him back. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, and and that they knew there was going to be good drama, but it's like they're she's like they're me- that's that's kind of messed up to her because she emotionally finally went through this. Yeah, and now they're and they're like, yeah, good TV ratings. That's what they're doing. It's like that show. What, what's the unscript? Not unscript. Is that what it's called? Unreal. Unreal. The Lifetime Show. Y- oh, yeah, it's amazing. basically the Bachelor. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. it's very. I watched season one, and it's very, very similar to what really goes on with. With the exception of some very heightened drama, like in the first season, this girl goes up on the roof and winds up falling off the roof, right? Right. That contestant is never getting on the roof because they have a lockdown on all these people. There's, that that isn't happening. But they do a really good job. The rest of the seasons, they do a very really much good so, job. and it's very it's it's very. I mean, even that that moment is a good TV mm. moment. It's just not that part of it it's is true. realistic. The the sure. part of them watching from the control room, yeah, yeah, that's where I sat. So that is very true. Wow. You're watching people all day long watching what's what's happening but it's also if if you're on the show and i know that i'm i'm gonna i'm your producer so yeah we we become kind of friendly but i also gotta know and it's the same thing that happens on that show it's like look we need winston to keep roxy like he he doesn't really like her and he's like yeah but she's she's really good she's it's like just see if we can get her to stay for a little bit winston listen I know that she's maybe, but give her a shot to see. And sometimes they go, you just want her on for another episode. And like, yeah, and they, and they do it. But otherwise, it's like, it's like having these conversations. Of like, you're, it's it's that's why I didn't want. It. I told you that. It's like I had I had a producer say to me, yeah. you can't look at them as people. You got to look at them as characters. And you're like, I can't. Yeah. Crazy man. I, I I'm very curious though because again, I don't mean to loop back on this, but like it's very it was very clearly an emotionally abusive relationship, both in the way that he was dealing with the other dudes, but how he was dealing with Hannah. So yeah, I, I, how much of that was? Do you think that was actually her genuinely bringing him back just because she was caught in the loop, or how much was that the producers really well, pushing her? But this is what I mean though. This is what I'm saying in her head she it was probably it was it was probably her but it's conversations that you have to where, where, where she's where she's like well I don't know if I really like him and if the producers are telling the, the other producer we need him to stay they're gonna be kind of manipulative and say like well you know you guys do share a lot of the same likes what do you like about him I like this and she'll push him towards the positive you know when you're having a conversation with somebody where you it's and she's trying to mm-hmm. he or she is trying to sway it towards that because that that Helps them, or but they will say if it's if it's potentially dangerous, they're going to get rid sure. of this person because well, it's not going to help. That, w- that was the thing with the almost fight at the rose ceremony is all of a sudden you did start to see security and produ- even Chris Harrison came out and was like, "Hey, brother, what are you doing? You need to like get lost." Yeah, yeah. So. Did they do the and did they try to beat him up at Mintel All also? No, they left him alone though. He the, he got to come out first, and one of the dudes was like, "You know what? I just need to come out and say this. Like, you look like a psycho. I yeah. just want you to know that. Like, you you're, you're out of your mind." And like, because he even said at one point. I was there because I realized that Hannah needed to be rescued, and everyone was like, "Excuse me, like yeah, from yeah. you, bro? Like, what right. is your problem?" Yeah, he's a lunatic. Do they have sex with Chris Harrison? Yeah, no, none well, of them. Well, I thought the Chris was going to run off of Colton this past season. <laughs> the, the, like the fence jump, I thought that was the reveal was that they ran off together. Yeah, no, he. So Chris Harrison. None of them have sex with him. For a long time, he was married. During the majority of but when I was anymore. there, no, I think he was divorced like maybe four or five years ago. Um, and I know, I mean, I knew someone he was dating, and she was not on the show. Um, you think no bachelorette contestant ever? or bachelor? I, not that I know. Uh, Go but, look it up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I know <laughs> that they. I know they approached him one season after he was divorced to be the bachelor, and he was like, "Nope." Really? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Do you think he should have? No. Why? Yeah. It's because he's the, because you're probably putting that that cushy uh, gig. Uh, it would feel like it'd be over after that. Yeah, because yeah. It's, like, it's like you know, he, if he does that, it's like it's he doesn't need to do that, and it's like. He, what about the final season? Maybe sure. it's a good gimmick. Mm-hmm. It's a good gimmick. It was the final season, and, and if he's still not locked down, but he also you know he's, he's he does well for himself. I would for sure go on that season. Would you? Oh yeah. You need to go on. I'm telling you, I can. I, you should go on anyway. Mm-hmm. You'd be great on that. <laughs> you think so? You, oh, yes, you'd be phenomenal on that show. Are you kidding me? And you get to travel all over the world. Yeah, that's cool. But like, but you, you got to bring you your own to, dresses. I don't care about not that. Always. You have to oh, quit your no. jobs. I wouldn't want to see Roxy well, go on quit. the show. Not quit. 
you would. Which of my jobs is gonna be like? It's pause. fine that right. you go away for multiple months. Well, if you, if you put if you put on the on the lower third every time, you know where where you're from. It's a long list. Yeah, <laughs> what the main one is. Just put Schmo down. He'll be fine. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, good talk. Yeah, so much. So speaking of which, we're gonna be uh, in New York, August thirty first, which oh, we've. At like we're at 360 tickets already. Who's we? Wow. Can I come? Show down. Yeah, I mean, possibly if Jeff mm-hmm. Snyder can make it happen. Mm-hmm. 360 tickets. Ha, this is this is some serious bullshit. Oh, the poll. We'll talk about the poll in a second. This is some serious bullshit. We'll talk about the poll in a second. But 360 seats. Uh, the the theater. We are about a month and a half out. The theater only holds, I think, 500. So get your tickets very soon for that show. And I already know the main events. Or excuse me, the whole card. The the. Undercard will be a tournament match, and I'm happy to say the tournament match will be former champion Ethan Irwin wow. will be facing uh, Haley Fouch. That's Haley awesome. Fouch in Great match. Undercard match. That'll be the, and it would be a major win for Haley if she can get it done inside of this tournament. And then the main event will be the new movie trivia showdown champion Paul Oyama going up against either Ben Bateman, Mike mm-hmm. Kalinowski, or Jeff Snyder. We put a poll up. Bullshit poll. Now, from that poll, Rigged poll, from that poll, who would you say has the best shot? Now, remember, Mike's playing Ben, and then the winner of that plays Snyder. So, Mike or Ben needs to win two. Snyder needs to win one to okay. get to New York. Who also, do you got? remember that Mike and Ben aren't good. <laughs> but, but who do you got? <laughs> I have Ben Bateman. <laughs> you have Bateman. Of course, you have Bateman. Um, out of those three, what would you say? Yeah, I don't disagree with him. Yeah, Ben. See, I, I love, I love Ben. Want. I love Kalinowski. Here's why I pick Snyder. A hundred percent. Snyder's on fire right now. That's hundred percent. And he only has to win one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Has to win one. Exactly. It's tough. And so he has a he yeah. has a better road to get there. And right. also, he's better. He's yeah, well, a better player. That being said, on the poll, he was the last. I saw Out of a it, thousand I, people. I saw that. He was the last. Kalinowski. Kalinowski. On yeah. He's on. Kalinowski is. The I most get, here's here's I understand. Right he, where has yeah. Where has Mikey's focus been? Ig, but I mean, but he won. He just won. And is that going to be helpful? He won at teams. All? And he won singles. He won against Janine. Here, here's here's the thing. Has, he has a beast mode partner. Here, yeah. Here's the thing. He, that guy is studying like crazy. Right. He's yeah. annoying as crap. But for really IG, good. he's studying all the geek stuff. But when you're studying all that and hyper focused, there are things that you're going to learn about all these actors that are appearing Not in these things. geek movies. And then carry it over into everything else. I think it only helps. I don't think what pe- people realize what Snyder does for his for a oh, living. Oh right. yeah, I know. Yeah. It's all that he's Almost. getting paid to study for the movie trivia showdown. Literally all day. Mm-hmm. That's it. That yeah. is all he does. Well, t- especially with like these crazy indies that I don't even know exist. I know he's, he's, he's been hounding us for an indie slice he, on the he's, wheel. He's he's nasty. Yeah. Well, like so you get so a chance. Good. So you get a Shouldn't chance. Should like, be Festival Darlings in? That's what I thought. But anyway, mm, you guys, uh, you can have a chance to come see any one of those three play Paul Oyama, the youngest champion we've ever had, 22 years old, defending that title for the first time in New York. And then Arizona, we have a big match. And I can also say the undercard of that will be late to the party versus the Wild Berries, which is <laughs> too fun. Perfect. Too, too fun. Perfect. So, yeah, Who do you, so guys, who do you have in that one? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. That's such a wild berries. It's an even. No, it's an even, taking wild berries. It's an even, they're due. It's an even match. They're due. Is that an Irish coffee? Uh, just, no. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you got late to the party. Uh, yeah, I got late yeah. to the party. I, 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 I mean, it's gonna be fun across the board. If we're going just who's gonna win the fun victory, is definitely the wild yeah. berries. Yeah. Right, right, right. I don't know. Well, they they the pretty fun. No, they, yeah. no, they yeah. are. But, I'm but saying, the wild berries are like, like the champions. Wait, what's the other match? And. I don't know yet. The my main event that but I don't swear. lie to me. Do you know? And no, you don't no, want no. To tell me? no. I had a main event, but it, it's it's not happening anymore. Okay. Um, so I need a new mm. main event. So it'll, what more, happened? N- rather not say. Mm. Um, but there's going to be a main event, whether it's the <laughs> singles good. tournament um, match, a singles tournament match, or or even a teams tournament match. I don't know yet, but it'll be something big. Who's on the? Who's in the? Availability. Who are you thinking? I mean, anybody could be. Up anybody. For yeah. 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 yeah, I was thinking that. Too. <laughs> lastly, <laughs> lastly, Austin. before we move on, Orlando, I do have, um, I have the undercard, which I'm gonna hold for a second because it's gonna be a big announcement when it happens. The undercard is gonna be. Can I come? Pretty big. Um, yes, and the main event will be the singles tournament finals. Mm-hmm. So Orlando Orlando is already when is sold. That? that is October 19th, I believe. When are we doing Kevin Smith versus Jericho? I know, I got to figure that out. But yeah. but Orlando by the way, just let everybody live. know that also seats just around 
450 people, maybe 500. We're ready at 150, and we just put the tickets on sale like two days ago. So wow. another question for you, yeah, because uh, Roxy drunkenly was at Schmodown this past weekend Agreed. and was talking about this and and realized <laughs> that I could be wrong. Didn't we say that we were doing an LA one this year? Or did I make that Shmodown up? Shmodown Spectacular will most likely be, uh, that's our WrestleMania, that's going to oh. most likely be December 7th. It's just not on sale yet. Good. I was running my mouth at You're the right. Shmodown, and they were all saying, oh, that has not been announced. You're telling us oh, things. Shit. And I was like, I just announced it. No, that's okay. That's all right that you said that. That's two days before yeah. my birthday. I'm going to have to do something for yeah, that. This, December forget. 7th. So we just haven't we just haven't really officially announced it. But we Can just I said, come to that? No. Okay. Another question. Last um, one. Why do you think that it's okay to chop Darina's face out of pictures? Oh, that's fair. Um, so you know what it was? I didn't push the little two arrow thing to zoom it back a little bit. I just posted it up. I didn't. Cut also, any... have you sent me any of the pictures yet? I didn't take the pictures. Is they're on your phone? Are they? Yes. I don't think so. How did you post it, Christian? Uh, maybe you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Did you see Darina's no, you response, which was actually really funny? Uh, can you go up and see where where's her comment? It's up there somewhere. Did it respond to mine? Yeah, it's where the hell is it? Didn't she? It maybe it's a, I think it's maybe probably a response to mine. No, go to my scroll down, go to mine, see three more comments. I bet she responded because I tagged oh, her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. I think we have to teach dad how to use landscape mode. Because <laughs> sure. yeah. I wrote savage. I mean, this was the most savage one you've ever done yeah. because you didn't even crop her fully yeah. out. What the hell is that guy talking about? And how not to wear a baseball cap so far down. I, that's, I, I, I like that, and I will never change that style. So I, I don't radio understand brood. that guy either. Yeah, it makes no sense. But the, but the landscape mode, sure. Look at Alex. Good good promotion there. I made it into the picture. Though. I was pretty excited about that. Yeah. Did you see the like, sl- non-slick move by Alex? Like, yeah. Just so you account, can see what so it's going to follow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like it. Then no, and then it went. I'll right. stop protecting him. All right. Coding. No, that's what happened, actually. Yeah. He went to like it, and then he, I got to log in. Uh, Try again. Let's see what happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're welcome. <laughs> Put your yeah, yeah, let me see, oh. your, let me see your code. Oh. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. getting validated. You got to get that code. Uh, don't say validated. People get upset. Um, let's, uh, Do they now? Does that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's let's move let's move on. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's get to some news because there's some there's some. There's news. so much news. Did you guys see the JoJo Rabbit trailer? No. I sent you the links. Mm-hmm. No. no? Well, Drop this one. Right. What is I that? It is so excited. It for is JoJo going Rabbit. to premiere at the uh, Ven- did I say Venice? Toronto. Toronto. Thank okay. you. They're it's going to premiere at the Toronto. Yeah, they're very close. Film festival and it's uh, one of the first. Full trailers that we've seen, and it's it's hysterical. Again, I know somebody who has seen this. Yes, and they say amazing things. Okay, and what do you think about the trailer? You like it? Yeah, Thank yeah. You, yeah. Good talk. No, I mean it. It looks <laughs> effing awesome. Yeah. Like everything about it. I mean, this is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. This looks like it has so much heart as well as humor that this that only Taika Waititi That's can do. You can pull it off. I'm gonna watch it. But you know, you just said something, Rox. It's funny, and it's just the way that you said it. I, on the way over today, I was listening to uh, Bella Thorne on Howard Stern, mm-hmm. and it's so funny because like everything that she was saying, I you know I agree with her. To, to, the, the, she brought up the Whoopi stuff and all that stuff that, and, and none of that is is uh, discredited because I agree with everything she said. But she kept talking after that, um, and like she's she reminds me of Kristen Stewart, to where she's very mm. like I saw Kristen Stewart. I agree with that. I saw Kristen Stewart at uh, at Sundance. And I don't know if I've told the story on the air, but like, and I can't remember who they were honoring. And she, Kristen Stewart, had, had worked with her. And I was like, oh, cool, Kristen Stewart's gonna give a speech. And she goes, yo, like, fucking, this is in front of so many people. <laughs> like, you don't understand how fucking great this woman is. And like, fuck. <laughs> Like, you guys, you gotta <laughs> fucking see how fucking great she is. And I'm like, fingers like everything. Like, that's fucking. It's because they're not writers. It, but they're it was. Actors. And she saw. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I'm an actor more than a writer. Don't do that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you're both. Yeah, I mean, t- but, I guess that's true. But, 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 and, but, and they are not. <laughs> but but, but either, either, either way, either way, well, it was, was she It was not. Not, she, not really. Okay. It's just, but I'm telling you, it was one thing. If you're really sitting here doing that, and like, even even Bella Thorne on Howard Stern, like which I'll get to in a second, was fine because she's just kind of shooting the shit. But this was in front of like tons of media. I've seen and, Jennifer and, like, Lawrence do that a million times. This was oh, yeah. this wasn't like, but this was not like a couple of words here. And it was like every. I don't know if there are any words in the speech except fuck. Um, <laughs> but Bella, but Bella Thorne. 
Bellathorn was Take on. Take an improv class, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, but Bell, <laughs> Bellathorn was on, and I, I again just listening to her entire thing was really it was it was it was nice to see her point of view. But what it was happened just, with she was the Whoopi thing ultimately? And what she what she just said. She was you know she was like, look, I I'm a I should be I should have the right to post these pictures, and, no. and I love Whoopi Goldberg so much. Like I I love her. Like what are you doing? Why aren't you supporting me? I'm saying ultimately that Whoopi know. ever apologize? I don't know. I don't know what no, no, she she doubled down, and then she was just like, yeah. it, it's a technology thing. Like I'm not saying like don't do you and be sexy, which but like you know how technology works. So what does that have to do with being a celebrity? But this is that's what Bella that's what Bella said. She's like, so what should I do? Should I just take a picture on a Polaroid and then somebody takes a picture of the of the Polaroid and post it? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's like I should be able to do this. I'm a human being. I'm not just a celebrity. And agree to all that. Then she started to get into like yeah. how she her goal in life was to win an Oscar, right? And she's like, she's like, I want to win an Oscar. I want to fucking win this Oscar so fucking bad <laughs> that you know I'll fucking do anything to win this fucking Oscar. And I'm like. That's better not be the speech if you win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I've done everything. I've done everything. Fucking I Oscar. Want, hey, fucking Streep, what do you think? It's like it's, I want to fucking thank God. And I want to fucking thank my direct. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Fuck. Yeah. So it was, it was just. It was funny to like listen to it, but it was just you know. And I hope she wins. Because I want to see you? that. Spe- yeah, I like Bella Thorne. I do. I like Bella Thorne. She, a lot. In what? Is there anything coming? Adam out? Sandler movie. The one she was in with the, the really bad one with uh, that was when I first the Netflix saw. one. No, no, no. This no, is no. my she thing was, with her. I don't with, uh, understand where her, her oh. extreme fame comes. The Disney from. Channel. They talked about that. She came from the the, the Disney stuff. Like those. But Disney why in up. our circle do people know who she is? Because she's got because so because this goes back to the social media thing too. She's she's a. I don't even know. She might be younger. Is millennial the youngest right now still? No. No, it's not right. She's Gen Z. She, that's what she's Gen Z. Uh, anyway, she's in. I think you know what movie she was in the, the Duff. That movie was better than it should. It was have been. excellent. That movie right. was excellent. Oh, I yeah. see what you're talking about. Blended. Robbie and Blended. That was yeah. the one. Blended. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, oh no, no, no. The big movie that, that I love that I, that might get her the Oscar is Alvin and the Chipmunks: The Road Chip. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> good movie. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, but anyway, I, just, I don't I, know if you can get nominated in 2019 for a 2015 movie. They're, they're introducing a new mm-hmm. category mm-hmm. next year mm-hmm. of, of things that That's, should have been. Nominated. That is 1,000 how the Oscars should work. Things that people that things got overlooked. No, well, nominations should take place five years later. Five years later. Yes. Oh, because it's too fresh in people's minds. Hundred yeah. percent. The amount of things that we've botched is crazy because of the, what the year is. Right. We, nominations. We we need at least a couple of years you to have was, any kind of perspective on movies. You know which one was really close that I always and I love I love Forrest Gump. You're not. You shouldn't have won over Shawshank. Shawshank should have won a hundred percent. Saving Private Ryan over, Save, uh, over uh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare in Love. love. Are Come you on. out of your mind? She, that's my favorite Spielberg movie. What, and what does the Social Network King Speech? I mean, yeah. King Speech is awesome. It's not that awesome, but over Social Network. Uh, that, and there was a, a bunch of other movies that year too. Actor, yes. Movie, no. Yeah, for, Jake Gyllenhaal's not even nominated for, speech, for yeah. Nightcrawler. That's silly. Nightcrawler's oh, not nominated. That's the silly. whole thing, like, yeah, 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 there's true. been so many. Citizen Kane didn't win. We right. should be we should be doing these what, later. What beat what beat uh, Citizen know. Kane? I don't know. Crazy. I was hoping they'd look. I'm sure that there's <laughs> tons of Schmodown players that that know. I certainly. Oh, that's right. How green was my valley? That's uh, right. Also, a very famous uh, movie that gets taught in film school is the number one movie that you need to know. That one. It's a joke. Oh, they, they talk about that a lot. As opposed to Citizen, Citizen Kane. Kane. Correct. As I was gonna say, just I was like, I, yeah, know, I would have lost that question in the Shmoda. I don't, I don't. How, how Green's My Valley has actually come up a few times in the Shmoda. Yeah. I remember Drew McQueenie getting it a couple times. Uh, yeah, you it's, know, it's definitely, it's definitely sometimes met. But yeah. Citizen Kane. Yeah, right, 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 right. I mean, come you know, on. You know, it's crazy. I mean, because you're right. Because like years later, that's when it really kind of built on. I mean, even a movie like like Warrior. Yes, we were talking about with mm-hmm. um, Frank Grillo was that. That movie didn't do very well in theaters, and right away critics didn't really pay much attention to it. But audiences caught on, caught on, and, and it became beloved. No, oh, that movie is so good. Yeah, and mm. speaking of which, can we announce who our guest is on Wednesday calling in? Who is it? Oh yeah, uh, from Warrior, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, Whoa. WWE what? Hall of Famer. Wow. You want to talk about milk? That's oh, my dude, dude. So that my Yo. first day at WWE was the milk truck. Whoa, you bastard! Oh my really? god, that was my first day working there. Yeah. Yeah, that's first the, day working there that's was, was the greatest the first day yeah. of work of all time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, he's got a movie that he's going to be calling in about. We got him. We're going to talk for about half an hour. It's going to be at ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, where's he calling in from? I don't know. Wherever he is, he's from Pittsburgh. But I don't know if he's there. He was on Morale last night. 
He was on Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. So, um, but he's yeah. retired, isn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. So he had a lot of neck injuries, and then he was he was the commissioner for uh, the general manager for, of Raw for I think like a year, and he, he he's retired since. So I don't know. Are he you, fought his last match actually this past WrestleMania. Are you gonna let oh, wow. Makuga okay. sit in on it because of Pittsburgh? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because well, I don't think he wants to talk about wrestling too much. You know, I think he wants to talk about his movies, his and movies. Other stuff too. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not, not him. I'm talking about no, 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 Angle. No. Angle. You just mentioned Pittsburgh. I, oh, I was, yeah. I did Collider Sports a couple weeks ago, and I didn't know he was a Steelers fan, oh, and yeah. I just ripped the Steelers yeah. organization oh. a new one for the way they were treating Le'Veon. Did, did and he, he, steam in his, uh, he just was like the whole time doing this, and I didn't catch on, and I just saw Roke over there like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did he agree? Did he come back at you? He eventually yeah. did. Like, like he was like, so I don't think you know I'm a Steelers fan, so let me tell you all the reasons why I was like, uh-oh, here we go. And I, all I was saying was like, look, you want to hold out for money, hold out for money. Is your body on the line? You, your league average is three to five years. Like, right. get your money. And he was like, we did everything for him. And I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Well, Jets yeah. paid his ass, though. So. Well, he's going to be on. <laughs> McCougar and Kurt Angle will be on the show on Wednesday. Kurt Angle calling in. Have you talked to him before? I worked with him. When um back he he was he but was did always, you talk to him yeah yeah he was the nicest probably the nicest wrestler that I worked with out of all of them he was the nicest to Whoa. me yeah um now whether or not he remembers me is probably no but I remember him being super nice and and kind when I was there so it'd be a pleasure to talk to him again uh so that's who was the thing. meanest um I definitely was not I don't want to say mean John Cena. but not, <laughs> yeah, no, John Cena wasn't was there. Not there I wasn't accepted <laughs> certainly wasn't accepted Bruce Pritchard. Did not like me, mm-hmm. not at all. How come? It just wasn't part of. I wasn't part of that. Cl- that click. It just wasn't. And he and he like. I think I told this on the air once. He had said to me too. He's like, one. It was one day I had some thing and I was like fighting for it. He's like, that doesn't matter. You're not going to be here in a week. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Never mind. I was going to say I, I just recently was fortunate. I did a sketch with Drew Brees and I thought he didn't like nice. me, but I just realized he just. You know, as a busy buzz motherfucker, yeah, like yeah. he'd come from a commercial to come do this thing, and like he just didn't have time. Right, right. So he wasn't being rude. He was just like, eh, okay, okay, what cool. was the commercial? Yeah. Uh, Can you say? I don't know the commercial that he did. I can't say that. The thing that I just filmed with him, I can't say yet, oh. but it drops in like a couple weeks. That's so I'll awesome. tweet about it or You've something. You've been doing right a lot of shit, man. You've been working a lot. You, you just Grinding, did, baby. You just did some Nickelodeon stuff too, right? Mm-hmm. What were you mm-hmm. doing? Um, I did a Nickelodeon movie called Bixler High Private Eye that came out in January. Say, wait, say it again. Bixler High Private Eye. Bixler High Private Eye. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, with what the Henry Danger kid, Jace Norman. That's funny. It's uh, my uh, uh, Jace Norman. Jace, wait, the, Jace. Main, the, main, the main kid, Yeah, the main right? guy. Yeah, Jace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he, he, my daughter loves that show. And I took her to to see a taping of it because my buddy Cooper is oh, the right. main guy. Is oh, the, so he, that's who I did the sketch with. Cooper oh, was you? in it Cooper's too. like a good yeah. buddy of mine. Yeah. yeah. So Cooper, Cooper and um, it had invited us okay. over. We went to this whole thing. She took pictures. But sorry, Jace Norman is yeah. the kid's name. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right, no, right. I, think, I think I have a picture with Cooper. Cooper, I yeah. Took one. Oh, I also got to hang out with goats all day. That was cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Cooper's awesome. Have you guys been seeing this goat yoga thing? That, well, that's, that's been that around was, for a that bit. Was oh. part of, with, that was part yeah. of the sketch with, with Drew. Is, with that's oh, why? There was, there was like goat yoga. yoga. Yeah, well, goat, goat standing on people's backs yeah. while they're doing yoga. It's come yeah. out a lot. I, I think chilling with goats all yeah, day. I think yeah. Heidi's done it from Heidi and Frank. Really? Yeah, I didn't so. hear you talk about that. Yeah, but it's a, uh, how we didn't play the, the bat right now. They're, they're fucking around back there. Yeah, they are. They don't care. They still don't care. Cody, were you guys just fucking around? No, what were you guys just doing? I was on my phone. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Perfect. JT is rubbing off on you. Yeah, I was sleeping. Um, all right, let's uh, let's move on. Anything, <laughs> <laughs> Anything else going on? Yeah. Uh, so we have the TIFF lineup. Speaking of JoJo Rabbit, so Joker will be premiering at TIFF. Uh, cool. That'll be the North American debut. It is going to play at Venice as well. Then we have. Uh, the Goldfinch, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Hustlers, and Harriet, as well as Jojo Rabbit, and Ryan Johnson's Knives Out. Shit, it's good. It's a good beautiful line. day in the neighborhood. Uh, another. Yeah, it's Tom Hanks's. Well, it's the only oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw, he looks just like him. I, yeah, it looks just like him. I, 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 I forgot that was happening. I'm getting so tired of Hollywood just taking my childhood and using it to just make me cry in theaters like yeah. a punk ass. Right. Like, I, I, just yeah. let me be, man. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be so good. It's gonna but. be good. How, I mean, he's, uh, he's, Tom Hanks hasn't had a role like that to kind of sink his teeth into and just seeing him, who better 
to play Mr. Rogers and Tom Hanks because he's like he's also you never hear anything bad about the guys. They're supposed to be one of the nicest people in in Hollywood and, and yeah. great great cast. I appreciate. Did, did y'all see the trailer? Yes. Uh, I appreciate yeah. the fact that he's not trying to force like a Mr. Rogers voice. Right. Like he's keeping the cadence, but he's not like trying to do an imitation of right. him. Just. Uh, so I feel like that's going to be like a master class in acting, that movie. Honestly. I think so, too. Yeah, and I, and I also like the fact that they're going to – I mean, after seeing that documentary, the fact that all these people wanted to go after him and try to just expose him to be this thing that he wasn't as far as being a bad guy, and he wasn't. It was, and the one woman, I think, says to him, please don't don't ruin my childhood. You know, And it never, it never came because the guy was like a legit, genuine – Good, good human. Person, yeah. and I remember the end of that uh, that documentary when they're like, "Yeah, there's other people out there just like him." No, there aren't. Mm-hmm. There really aren't. Like, D- did you see Ellen Barkin's tweet? No. Yesterday, she because of the Tom Hanks, uh, Mr. Roger movies. I'm I'm trying to find it right now, but she called out Captain Kangaroo. She's like, "You try to make a fucking movie with Captain Kangaroo? That guy told me to fuck off one day." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she was just like, she was she went in hard on him. <laughs> Kangaroo. Well, hold on. She, oh, she tweets that'd be like, a lot. That'd be, that'd be yeah, like, that'd be like, that'd be like Death to Smoochie if they did that. Right. I right, love right. Death to Smoochie. is an he, underrated movie. Here's the tweet. I'm informing you now. Captain Kangaroo told me to go fuck myself. Sherry Lewis refused to shake the hand of my then six-year-old son. Don't try to make a movie about uh, sorry either about of either ch- of those child-hating yeah, frauds. That's, right that's hysterical. Why don't I know who that is? Captain Kangaroo? No, Ellen Barkin. Ellen Barkin? Famous actress. She was, um, you'll see her in a second here, too. But my favorite movie she's in is Sea of Love, by the way. But she's been in tons of shit. There she is. She yeah. was in Animal Kingdom recently. As a, but just zoom in, get closer so she can see what the hell she looks like. Um, she looks like Barbara Streisand. You know, you know. Yeah, I recognize oh, her. Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't know who it was either? No, no, but I, but I, I 100% recognize her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ellen Barkin um, has... She also looks nothing like Barbra Streisand. Very close <laughs> with uh, Robert Downey Jr. and his wife. Well, at least they were. I don't know if they still are, but uh, they used to be. Uh, Ellen Barkin is definitely... the fact. I, I don't know if there's a better story out there than Ellen Barkin taking shots at Captain Kangaroo. Mm-hmm. It's great. I mean, who in a million years do you think the Captain Kangaroo? Like, what is he? Is he even? He's got to be. He's got to be dead, right? Captain Kangaroo. There's no chance he's still oh, yeah. alive. Come on, let me see. And taking shots at a dead cat, cat kangaroo. I mean, come on. What? What, you, what happened to Captain Kangaroo? Does anyone know? No. Yeah, he. Okay. The final episode was December eighth, nineteen eighty four. That was when. That was, that was when he finally went off the air. Didn't say is he, he still died, alive? Though. Yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, I guess he's his Wikipedia. Yeah, there he is. So we're we're gonna we're sorry. Scroll. Guys, we're, we're doing we're doing serious research. Scroll. Yeah, this is, this is some is. serious research here. He died. He died two thousand four. He was seventy six. Okay. Right. January twenty third. Captain Kangaroo. Poor so guy. I don't know if that, we should tell everybody that he said to go fuck yourself. Well, I mean, uh, Ellen Barkin got a chill because she was rocking the Captain Kangaroo haircut. So <laughs> clearly, she was looking up to him like, yeah. "Be easy, girl." Yeah. Super fan. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm curious about what's what's the, what's, the, what's the context of that? Like, did did she come over and say, "Hey, would you take a picture of me and my kid?" He goes, "Go fuck yourself." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it's a story. <laughs> like, what, what we else? should make that movie. I know. Like, what else <laughs> happened inside of that conversation? You know, like it's like is that it? Because if that's it, it's kind of hysterical. <laughs> it's really dead to smoochie. She's just like Captain Kangaroo, such a huge fan. Will you take a picture next to this carrot? Go fuck yourself. It's <laughs> like, amazing. Yeah. Maybe uh, you, oh, you know what? It was probably after his show got canceled and she right. went and asked for a picture right. and he like was bitter about his show being canceled and that's probably what it was. Oh. He called him by Captain Kangaroo instead of his, so his you know good. his real name. Yeah, like, like what like why like why though? Like what was it was it something longer? Like did she say like hey you, you don't you don't you don't hold shit to Mr. Rogers? He's like, Yeah, really? Go fuck yourself. Then then it's like all right, well, you know, she was challenging. But I You I don't should know. tweet it or and ask for more information. We should ask. We need more information. From Ellen Barkin. Any dirt on Howdy Doody? This one person <laughs> asking for a marionette. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Why? Go, wait, go, go down. Go down one. There's, there's a. I always thought Captain Kangaroo was 30 seconds away from losing it when I was a kid, so I'm not surprised. He's an asshole. Yeah, yeah the hilarious. comments are like, even cares? better than her tweets. <laughs> I mean, I kind of see why. He looks like they were just abusing This him is my it. favorite thing on the internet right now is Ellen Barkin's beef with Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, know, she's really like, is. just out of nowhere. You know oh. what? Fuck that guy. 
comedy. And it, it, this, this doesn't surprise me. Uh, Chevy, so this, uh, Sean that, O'Banion says, Chevy Chase mm. broke my 11-year-old heart when he refused to sign an autograph from me and then literally seven seconds later when two hot young blondes approached and asked he signed their, their book. You know did, did I tell you my Chevy Chase no, story? I got one too. Oh my God, I'm at an airport. He walks in. I am I must be 11 years old and yeah. I'm a huge Fletch fan yeah. and my mom tells me, go up to him and ask for an autograph. I go with my cousin. I go, can we have your autograph? I love Caddyshack and Fletch and Fletch lives. And he, he goes... Fletch lives sucked and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> and I went. But he signed it. He signed it. Yeah. yeah. See, what's what's I, wild yeah. is y'all all have these so negative ass stories of Chevy Chase. I was on, I was an extra. Is he great? Because I want, he's Well, like, I might be the only one with a good story yeah. here in that I was an extra on Community like back in college. And uh, he like walked backwards and like stepped on my foot. And I was like, oh, oh my bad, Mr. Chase. I was anyway, he's like, no. Call me Chevy. And I was like, oh, nah, he's a good right. dude. Yeah. And then Donald Glover walked in. And I was like, who the fuck is this dude? Like, I can do his job. Like, this is bullshit. So. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I like Billy the, Eichner's yeah. response. Yeah. Hands down the best tweet of all time. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's great. great. It's great. It's like, at what point, like, she wakes up, she sees this trailer where everyone is getting so happy, and she's like, you know what? It's time to out Captain Kangaroo. Yeah. Real quick, Mark Sanchez walks away from high from NFL for high profile. First of all, the NFL walked away from him a long ass time because since the butt fumble, so I don't. Right. That was very. So what's he doing? Joining the XFL? Uh, I think he's working for ESPN as a oh, commentator, okay. but I just random. Tweets what's going on with that. the XFL? Anything? Ah, uh, they yeah, were talking about doing. I don't know if it. I don't know if it ever really got off the ground again. Yeah, no, they're, 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 it's getting off the ground. They're still doing. I it. bet they're planning it. And yeah, they're, they're still, still going to announce they're something they're, soon. Just stayed away from it for well, sure. That other one already folded, didn't it? The K, the AF, the well, AAF, well, maybe, but I mean, they don't have. They don't have Vince McMahon's money, but but still, I think that it's also one of the reasons he's doing all those Saudi Arabia shows, so we can get all that cash to pay for the XFL. For it all. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So we talked about what? Really nothing. But what do we? What, <laughs> Now, uh, I know you true. guys saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. We could talk about that, but Not we yet. got a little bit you of time. Know, we can maybe do time. it when we talk. Uh, but here, I want to get everybody's thoughts on this. Eddie Murphy, speaking of comedians, is coming back to stand-up. Mm-hmm. He's working on a $70 million deal with Netflix to do some stand-up specials. I can't wait. I mean, yes. There's... Are you not feeling Eddie Murphy? I, I love Eddie Murphy. He's great. There's, there's You're nervous. Couple, very much so. Do you think so. he doesn't diff- have it anymore? A lot of different reasons why I'm nervous here. The first is... Let's keep guessing, Riley. I know. start with Delirious <clears throat> and Raw, right? Those stand-up specials, those would not fly tonight. Of course. Right. None of no. that stuff that he talks about now. Right. Uh, destroyed on Twitter and his Don't career is over. do you think he knows oh, that? Yeah. Absolutely. But that's kind of like young, mm, crazy Eddie Murphy. That was his thing back then, right? So that was why people like he was just so outrageous and was like almost his inspiration was Richard Pryor. And, and so you think without that, he's not going to be. No, I just don't know if it, if it's just for money motivation. That's no matter what it is, stand up or whatever. It's not a great thing. It's, it's certainly a reason to get you to start writing if you're going to do a bunch of them. He's been rumored to talk about it for a bit. Remember the Saturday Night Live special, though? That was an opportunity. When, right. When that reunion or the anniversary for him to come because he was up there. He and like, oh, he's going to tell some jokes. He did nothing. He just said like that. He just there was nothing. Well, because it was because he was banned from the show, wasn't he? For a little bit or he something. Did, like no, that? no, he wasn't banned. He was offended by a joke that David Spade said. That's what it was. To refuse yeah. to to come on the show, that's, and then they they had made up and done some stuff, but. Uh, I'm very excited to see it. What I'm also worried about is it, because they're going to do a series of them. If the yeah. first one is like bad or subpar, then he's got to climb harder. But I'm rooting for him. I love Eddie Murphy. I want Eddie Murphy to be great. I want him to make a comeback. I mean, who, that's what has, we love. We love comebacks. Has he been doing any stand up at all? Like, done it in a long time. So, what, what worries me just from having done that is it's a muscle, man. Yeah, it and is. if you haven't been working that muscle for what, over three decades, like that. That scares me in like tarnishing, like when Jordan decided to come back to the Wizards type yeah. stuff, where it's, you just you're tarnishing the legacy at that point. How much of that money does he get? Of the seventy mm-hmm. mil, I don't know. I what mean, would you? Get? I know you don't. Well, know. I mean, if you have like ten percent or maybe ten or twenty percent, you got to pay out to either your agent or manager. He probably or has twenty because he had, probably has like lawyers, managers, yeah. agents. Yeah, so out of the seventy, I probably knew between fifteen to twenty is probably what he'd probably clear. Yeah, and that's not. You think he's keeping fifteen to twenty? Probably. Mm-hmm. You say, say I mean, maybe a little more, but I you probably guess that. But it's yeah, you're you're right so though when it comes money. to stand up though. I was going up at the comedy store every night for two times a night, seven days a week, and I haven't gone up in like nine years. And like Ellis keeps asking me to go up, and it's like there's, I mean, 
a lot of work. I was trying to remember who it was. Like, you're going to go up in New York? And I'm like, I used to go home when I was single. And I would, when I was by myself, I would smoke a joint. I would walk around my house with no one there and just yeah. recite my stuff. Over and over and over and hours over. hours and then come up with new stuff while I was there. I, I can't type on my computer. Yesterday, I sit down. I just got home. I sit down. Oh, you got to work. Wait, what are you working for? You get, get, the, the, kid, the, the, the kids got to do this. The kids got to do that. I'm like, holy shit. I just walked in the fucking door. You can't get shit done. Yeah. And when you, and it's why you need like an office. It's like it's 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 crazy. Uh, so, he, but he's uh, in a very different place. Obviously. He can sit down and with $70 million, you can get somebody else to change the kid's shit diaper. Mm -hmm. Um but anyway, it's 15, 15 to 15 20. 15 to 20. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Pocket change. Pocket change. But I, I'm, I'm excited to see him come back. He got it. I bet we started hearing, look, he's got Coming to America 2 that's getting ready to start filming. Yeah. I think he'll Craig probably, Brewer. yeah, I think he's going to probably start, we might start hearing some stories of him appearing on stage, working through some new material. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, have yeah, faith you're gonna, in him. You're going to see him at the comedy I, store. I can't wait. Yeah. I grew up w listening to him, and yeah. I, I wonder how he's going to pull, pull it off with what what he can say nowadays. That's yeah. what's interesting to me. He might turn it around and it's do like something very interesting. It's like watching a good fighter who used to be the champ come back to fight. You just don't want him to get knocked out in the first it, round. It, sure. It's not, a, it's not a fair comparison because – this other person wasn't that great, but it reminds me of Chris Tucker, where he like blew up really fast, but immediately went into movies. Right. But then he did his Netflix special, and it was awful. Right. Um, and so yeah. that's like it's not fair to compare those two because again, Eddie Murphy is an all time no, great. That's a good like, comparison. Comedian, but like, too. yeah. But he he was also in this time as in the eighties. He wasn't a guy that was doing so many specials like a like a Seinfeld or all these comedians. He was. He was a rock star comedian that he was there for. He started doing stand up. He did those big specials, and then he became one of the biggest movie stars on the planet and just mm. stopped doing stand up. You know, so he was, he he transitioned away from stand up comedy very quick. Mm -hmm. Very Pro quick. not not I would say not as quick as Chris Tucker because no. Chris Tucker really did it off of like one like deaf comedy jam right. special. Like and he was never really minutes. known as like a stand up right. comedian as what Eddie Murphy was right. because he was trying to be like his like Richard Pryor. Right. You know? like, exactly. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's do one. Uh, you know what? Let's, Cody, are you ready for a break? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. All right, let's 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 go. We'll take a break. When we get back, Roxy and I will be talking about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. We saw it last night. We can do a little bit of review for you. So when we get back, we will do just that. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that Jesus. show. It drops down Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. New episode drops every ass. Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email and as your well ass every Saturday and, and Sunday. And I want it now. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, it's every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Boom. Hey guys, Perry Nemirov here to let you know that The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. We also have clips on the Collider Podcast okay. YouTube channel. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single okay. Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared. Hopefully you survive the witching hour. 
What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, Boom! where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the blue brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Perry here to let you know about the new edition of Collider Movie Talk. We are going to five days a week. We have a short, sweet 20 minute show where we focus on the two biggest stories of the day. You can expect to see all of your movies. favorite Collider personalities on the show, Gosh, including Jeff Snyder, movies. John Roca, Haley Fouch. I You're getting Josh McCuga every Friday. We are gonna have a blast. Them. It's gonna be informative, fun. Come join us. 3 p.m. PT live every single day of the week right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel. Well, we'll you can also good find the show on the Collider that, uh, Movie already. Talk feed on our podcast network. So go watch, go listen, however you prefer to get all of your movie news. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of the Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nosh, Josh McCuga, we've had Taylor Bashotti on, we've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember tripping, to subscribe bro. to the Collider Sports YouTube channel and if you want to take us along with you in your ears, you can go and subscribe to the Collider like Sports Podcast London. feed for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on yeah. Collider Conversations. And I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Who Drake, like Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host Expert. of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. And if you want to catch our weekly show where we talk about the latest and greatest in Star Wars, it's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel and you can listen, you can watch, you can do all of it. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever it is, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars. Episode 9 is coming out. And then after episode Nine, you got TV shows, so we're gonna be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on, be real. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, on Collider Live here. Took a break, waiting for our guest RB3, who's not here at the moment, but we do have Ben Affleck in a Tito's handmade vodka. Shirt there. So yeah, where'd you get him. that? This is Tom, Tom Dagnino, aka Bobby Finstock, aka Gucci, is in the studio. Hi everybody. Yeah. What up, Playboy? Hey, what's up? What's going on? What was Tom that song that we introed with? That was from Kill Bill. Yeah, this is uh, mm. Ben. He's uh, starring in. The new oh, is he in the new Bobby episode? The Juice, yeah. Okay, that makes it's pretty sense. Amazing. It's dropped, that makes it's a lot of sense. The other day, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, did you steal this or did you buy it? Uh, Be honest. This girl I knew hand knit, hand knitted the sweater. Okay, but that's not the sweater. Who's the actor? That's Ben Affleck. Are you kidding? Um, no. Are you kidding? Looks just no, like it him. looks exactly like him. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, it looks just like him. What planet are you on? What planet are you guys put, on? Put it, his face in the um, thing. It looks just like him. Bam. That looks yeah, it's like the same jaw and everything. Yeah. I knew it was him just looking just at him. Looking. Yeah, so uh, no, my do you buddy. Need glasses like me? Oh, yeah. You do. Desperately. Okay. Look, it look, seriously, he looks like he just came off the set of Daredevil and he's disappointed in his life. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, Watch his head. It's a, great, little, it's a little shady. Great Christmas sweater. Yeah. Um, Are you fantastic. mad at me for saying that? Did yeah, you check out the new episode. Hey, Imbecile, did you have a great... He's um, a zipper. Yeah. Oh, Comic-Con? Yeah. It was fantastic. It was good. Wow. Our first yeah. night was the best. The Wednesday I was, night. Oh, was yeah, for sure. This guy parks a truck. On, only him could park a full-on <laughs> truck on San Diego, on the streets of San Diego in a tow-away zone and, and doesn't get towed. And didn't get towed. No. Or a ticket. Not a ticket. Wow. Just got his blinkers on. Full yeah, on. it was pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. well, I was there. The Rodney I went Dangerfield there. guy was the best. He was the best. I went there Monday for the It 2 promo Last we did Monday, at the Marriott. Yeah. yeah. And then um, left. We hung out Wednesday. We were in all yeah, those places, all which was pretty fantastic. Great pizza we had that night. Because oh. he has a blue butt. There's a, there's a place called <laughs> San, San Remco's or is San that, Remo's. Is San Remo's, is that, is that so what the place So me, you, was? and Dorino I, know, I talked about, the, I talked about oh, it yesterday. It was, oh, my God. The bad one or the good pizza? 
It was the, the worst, worst pizza. pizza I've ever tasted in my oh, life. Oh, Alex's was I thought a good my, pizza. We were drinking a lot of vodka, so I thought my taste buds were shot. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to go out like that guy who, you know, that lead singer of that, that band or whatever. Right. So uh, I'm like, am I wrong? And you're like, no, this has no taste to it whatsoever. Oh, the mamas and the papas? No, I, I don't know. One of what are you talking about? Emo bands oh, or whatever. Don't worry about it. Let's play with the Anyway. The I am. Yeah. I, what are you trying to do? He has no penis. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Do any this man dolls has no penis. have penises? Yeah, <laughs> little Bobby does. Yeah, blue feet, though. <laughs> little Bobby's yeah. doll does, yes, for sure. Yeah, and the bendy feet. I'm um, just really into him. Right. No, it was oh, really... he's a corpse. He's blue. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, no, no, it's all good. No, it was a great experience. Uh, we always have great times in Comic-Con. Right. It, it's always it fantastic. Good. And yeah. the, well, we, the, the Rodney Dangerfield cab driver was oh, on Oh, my highlight. God. He was really good. And then I, I met... Left. And I remember I had that, like, a little run-in with that homeless guy. The Which naked guy. guy. He was remember. naked. I thought he was... I thought he was tattooed. Oh, no, you told me about But he him. was so dirty. And then he started going crazy. Then the cops come out of nowhere. Apparently, he's like a famous homeless guy in San Diego. Oh. And then he was grabbing him by his neck, like feeling his pulse. Apparently, oh. that's for like to see what kind of drugs he's on or how high he is. But wow. before that, he's like, can I get a lighter? And I was like, oh, you what are you going to do with it? Burn yourself? Just cigarette up your ass or something like that? Fucking guy. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I feel like that's such a normal request. Yeah, it's good. It was a scumbag. What, what did you What did you think? What did you think? The most important thing. What did you think about what? Ellen Barkin's comments to uh, to Captain Kangaroo? Uh, what she? I like Ellen Barkin. Yeah, I, she, I watched the movie Drop Dead Gorgeous with her the other day. Do She's we have to move too? on yeah. from what we were just talking no, about? I'm ahead. so confused. Why do you think he was a scumbag? The homeless guy? Because he wanted a lighter? Yeah, but he was naked on the street and, and like foaming at the mouth. So that yeah, that pretty much uh, certifies he's a scumbag. That just makes you really, yeah. really high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sounds like you're a <laughs> trip, bro. Sounds like, like you're a drug like. on drugs. He's, he was so dirty. The ground and dirt on yeah, him. But did he do anything? Looked like a tattoo. Yeah, he was punching. He was acting a fool. He was punching o- people. Knocking over garbage cans, like arguing with the objects, all kinds of stuff. And I was, the, was the cops was arguing with some, inanimate objects. Yes, so that's said? exactly what he was doing. Okay, cursing in the I air, like, like throwing about, stuff I don't in the know air. About scumbag, there. I'd say yeah. more like, insane. Would probably no, he was the worst. Oh, this guy yeah. would you, walking down the street with your kid. You, you, you walk around the other side. I will say, you I, get I, away from this guy I, ASAP. I did have a homeless. Uh, <laughs> A homeless debate the other day because well, the population in San Diego, the homeless population is bad out there. It's yeah. real bad. Well, and they're super in, aggressive. This was in Los Angeles, and on the street that I live on, where I live by myself, all of a sudden, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys. This happens in LA all the time. Like a homeless community popped yep. up yeah. on my street. Yeah, but on my yeah. girlfriend's mm-hmm. street, it's been and happening all the tents and stuff. It, it's all been the tents, a lot. but it went from nothing to like. Yeah, I'm gonna say like. Sometimes twenty, sometimes forty. It's happened, people. Like, yeah, yeah. It's been happening all the times, and on the sidewalk, yeah. so you can't walk on the sidewalk. Yeah, so my, pop-ups. The park that I used to take my pop-ups daughter to, um, it, it's it's now just tented with all homeless people too. Over in Westwood, a, over there. Yeah, man. Really? That that, that one park. I used to take my daughter Jesus. there all the time, and it's not, and it's it's just it's not. A, a safe enough environment because the things. The problem is that there are some there are some people who just are, are unfortunate and right. are not able. Correct. To, there are other people and who are addicted to drugs, drugs, drugs. and they and they, they and I've seen people oh, yeah. snap and it's like I don't yeah. want to take my kids around. No, so that was my problem recently is because like first when the homeless people were coming it was like I'd walk by and I'd have to walk in the street so I'd wait when it wasn't busy and whatever. But when I'd walk by they say good morning I said good morning so that's fine okay. But then like there were these this, there was a domestic abuse situation between mm. two people living in a tent and they were also uh smoking Shocking. like smoking crack right. and like all right. all of these Shocking. things and so i was like do i call the do i call the police i, I didn't even know what to do i think it's, it, it's strange enough strangely enough i think it's sanitation that the sanitation yeah. department um well, but what you're because, doing because of everything that's on the it's not the people themselves. No, but I met with the domestic it's, it's abuse situation. Yeah, no, I, know, I, I watched him. He like punched her, oh, and oh, wow. yeah, they there were was using a hepatitis outbreak the other day. Huge, like they quarantined downtown Los Angeles. I don't feel like you're break. on the same page as any of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about so, homeless. But anyway, the person across the street from me did call the cops. Okay. The cops came, and then I got back from Comic Con, and they're all gone. 
no yeah. tents, no nothing. It was like a it was like a three week thing, and then all gone. Yeah. It's it's what I've found because this happened to my girlfriends. So I feel like once a year somebody like sets up, and then like a bunch will set up. It's and, one person and then, and then forty, yeah. so and then get, right. and then somebody calls about something because the one that bothered my girlfriend in particular, there was uh, this one. Uh, there's this one uh, gay homeless man uh, who was like the nicest dude in the entire world, and everybody like, "What's good morning, Hanti? How you doing?" Like, really great. And then one day, I don't know if he was on a bad trip or something like that, but he'd gotten into like their dumpster area, which then has a direct entrance into the thing. Mm-hmm. He was peeking into everybody's apartments and yep. stuff like that. And when someone was like, "Hey, what are you doing?" He, he like verbally berated them, and then that was like within the next day right. he was gone. Yeah, like, that's that was that was completely happens. it. So. Yeah, but yeah. I felt more. I felt so bad. I was like, I don't know whether to call on these people, but it was also unsafe, and they were yeah. like, you're living by yourself over night. there. I know it's yeah. that's something you really. But the, just no. because you're homeless doesn't mean you're dangerous. Well, right, no, that's correct. But, right, that's no, correct. It's but that's that's, right. that's the point is that there There's are a good chance because there are some people that you don't know what they're on. when you're smoking crack. Yeah. You can be, before you were smoking, you'd be the next person in the world. Your your brain is gone. We'll have these yeah. guys are bipolar as it was well. It's crazy though. There was this, one of these homeless women that was there. She was like, I don't know, late twenties. I tell you guys about no. her. Mm-hmm. Maybe late twenties or beautiful, stunning USC sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Homeless sitting there, shooting up, and I was like, yeah. what? The F is like it was so weird looking at her, and I was like, "Wow, that well, she like either went to USC or knows somebody went there or is wearing that and is gorgeous. Like right. it was a beautiful, beautiful young woman, and was yeah. just homeless they, and they can't tent shooting up. It, what they're doing now is uh, putting up the signs that says power washing on like Mondays and Wednesdays. So if the homeless are there when they when the power washers come through. The power washers and sanitation have the ability to take all their tents and just smack, get them out of there. So they see that they're like, "Listen, we don't want our valuables or whatever they right. carry to be around." The city, so the city of Los Angeles, I believe it was like they put six hundred and fifty million dollars last year into combating a homelessness, mm-hmm. and we went we went up by like nineteen percent or something yes. crazy. Yeah, well, well, these guys it, got it, those, those now. numbers are rough. It was some over six hundred million, and I forget the exact. Yeah, but where's the money but, going? To, it's just they're you, you giving have, them tents well, and, and cell phones well, to but, like so shelters. It's enabling, and, but but a lot a lot of the issue is a. You have to remember we're in Southern California, so here San Diego, etc. There's not many places that are pretty much going to be like outdoors wise, like mm-hmm. a good place to live on a regular basis if you have to. And then you have the other fact that like why are we putting up more and more luxury high rises that nobody can afford that it's are like twenty percent full? Like it's the developers, we need to be making more places that people can actually afford because even some of those people that are homeless, like could figure out like something that was actually affordable sure. if you gave them the opportunity sure. but they're, they're, it's no, getting yeah. ridiculous yeah, yeah. And no, if and you're living by yourself you're not finding a place here that's under no. and that's true 12 or 1300 even, even if you're not living by yourself yeah. trying trying to find oh my God. A, a home for a family good luck if it's i didn't have my home. if i didn't have my house right. I, I told my girlfriend i would be uh, i would have bought an rv a long time ago there's yeah. no way i'm paying two thousand dollars for like a studio apartment yeah. but listen, it's listen, not happening i do want to move on though because i want to talk about uh this movie we saw last night roxy and i will we'll kind of get into this real quick yeah so uh once upon a time in hollywood oh, you saw it we saw it last night Ooh. the new tarantino film it came out last night and so here's and it didn't come out last night oh sorry we saw it last yeah. night and it comes out this week what well, thursday yeah it comes out thursday right so we roxy and i saw we saw each other before we went in we saw each other right after we went in i think we yeah we should have seen each other when we were in there but christian didn't say music no, no, I didn't have it. I didn't have a seat there for were it. No seats yeah, no, we, we went in there. Roca had, because I knew I was getting there late, and Roca yeah. had saved me one seat, and that was it. Um, so anyway, I saw I saw the movie, and I was it was so funny when you get into that screening in general because you just feel the air of like a Tarantino movie. You say it was it was jammed out. They had two theaters, two theaters packed. to see it, and it feels like an event. And the second the movie starts, you feel it. The first thing I can say is that the chemistry with DiCaprio and Brad Pitt is everything you want it to be. But even though it's DiCaprio's movie, Brad Pitt is the star of this film. Brad he Pitt, always is. But he, dude, he is so good in this movie as the stuntman and mm-hmm. and the way that it ties in everything. It is certainly a Tarantino film. You feel his stamp all over it, especially the end. The end is absolutely bananas. Ensemble, the ensemble cast. Yes. But is it is it Pitt's movie like as a whole? Is it 
seen through his it, eyes or more to the movie is the movie is very long and I even think maybe a little too long it's almost three hours long and it's his MO it, it, with this, not always he's just like 220 this is mm. almost three hours long it started a little later so but it felt it, it felt long um, and there's there's certainly a couple things that you probably could have cut out um, but the way that everybody kind of ties in and it moves pretty slow for a lot of it but I think because of what happens all the way through and the way that it ties up that by the time you get to the end it's like okay that's why he he wants you to feel like that he wants mm-hmm. you to feel like all right let's get there yeah, let's get there because you. by the time you he get there you. you're like whoa because it just hits you like a brick right uh, at, at the end of this film so i, I really I thoroughly enjoyed this movie um it's is it one of his best i don't know it's, i think that exactly what you were saying before with oscars roxy is that you got to give it a little bit of time give it time to marinate if i watch this i will watch this movie again i don't know if i'll do it in one sitting but i'll definitely do it again but i enjoyed the movie how would you feel I don't know, yeah. to be honest, mm. uh, which doesn't happen to me that often. I know that the third act was great. I know that for the second act, there was a long time where I was sitting there thinking, wow, I actually can't stand this film. Wow. Like, I, I actively am so frustrated okay. right now, and this is so long and self-indulgent. Wow. Uh, but because I loved, the, I loved the third act, I really liked the first act, I kind of accepted that by the time we got to the end it was almost like i'm so glad i watched that because of it all led to this right but it was frustrating um as somebody who is very interested in what happened with the real story uh i i was interested in this movie and I think that the performances were amazing. It looked incredible. There were specific scenes that I thought knocked it out of the park. The dialogue was awesome. But I I, I don't know if I will watch this movie again because I don't know that I care to. Yes. I'm, glad I, I'm super mm. glad I saw it. Mm-hmm. I think it's a really good and well done film. Uh, nothing in there touched my soul at yeah. any point in time. I, <laughs> I was really, this is one of those things that, that Pitt takes you, although DiCaprio has a scene, I'll just say, in a trailer that was fan. Is that the one that's in the trailer? Is it? It's a trailer in the trailer. Is it? I don't know. I didn't watch trailer it. Trailer I didn't watch oh. it. No, wait, there's an actual I trailer. Scene, okay. I think that the scene was good. It was one of my favorite scenes. Of the I, whole I much preferred the scene of him uh, out during his break with some another character that was in it briefly. Oh, that was good too. But yeah, but I, I liked there was, reading a book. Yeah, also yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what you're talking about. There were some really good. There were great moments. There were some great. Even the, there were some great moments. And great stuff, moments. Stuff goes in, but I I thought it kind of tied into the whole entire thing. The one thing I didn't love though that I liked a lot better in the trailer, mm. Bruce Lee, who looks like Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. I didn't like his the way that they depicted him in the movie. Um, I thought, I thought that was. <laughs> Like borderline racist. I'm sorry. So I, I, that's not. It's not an. Appro- yeah, it, I won't that's go there. too far of a word. Yeah. But it was, like. It was a caricature. It, it was, was. It felt like he was supposed to be the butt of the joke. Yeah. I, and I didn't mm. want that. Yeah. It was. It, he didn't. It seemed like a Saturday Night Live version of him, to where mm. I was. I wanted. I wanted more of the actual character, like what he was supposed to do. I felt super was it a Bruce uncomfortable. Lee movie? No, he's not in it. He's not in it for very long. He's only no. in it a couple of times. But it was, really was he getting because he was on set or something? Or? No, he's like he's like they were on set for a, for a couple. Yeah, he's on set doing something, and him and Brad Pitt have the scene in the trailer. Yeah, yeah of course. The scene itself, once they start doing it, is very funny, uh-huh. and it's 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 a good it's a good scene. But it's just like the way that you did think it was funny. That particular thing that they that they get into, yeah, I was laughing pretty hard. Oh, uh, see, I thought that that was. I, I don't know because I, it's not mine to be offended about. Yeah. But I was watching that and I was like. Wow, this can't not be offensive for people. I think he, I think he uh, leans into that. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think the majority of the movies. I have an issue with a lot of yeah. things yeah. that Tarantino yeah. does yeah, that I think are borderline. Movie. There's tons of stuff in this movie that's offensive, and I think that that's what he does. He leans into I'm it. Cool. I'm cool with it. He also he plays it into for the time itself and certain things that that he says and, do, and does. He's always been doing that in his movies, but the way that they tie in the Manson stuff, um, I thought you know Margot Robbie. I, I would have liked to have her to have a little bit more to do as Sharon Tate. But the stuff that she did have to do, I liked. She was, I mean, vocally speaking yeah. alone, she was a direct replica. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. She's so excellent that I felt really disappointed in her character. Because she, they didn't do much with her. I mean, there was, was, was uh, good too. I didn't even know about this, but Ben Bateman was telling me last night, initially when Tarantino was asked about her having so many less lines than the guys, 
he said, I reject your hypothesis. Yes. Do you guys remember that? I do remember that. A couple that. months yes. ago. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I guess basically somebody was questioning him why she has so many less lines in the movie than the men do. And he just re- said back, I reject your hypothesis, yeah, whatever that means. But absolutely. to me, she was w- she was one of the most interesting parts of the movie. That just was underutilized. So she was. so and vastly they, underutilized, yeah. and so I I had I felt like I had nothing to hold on to. Right. Like, uh, uh, Brad Pitt was amazing. Uh, abs- the performances were incredible. All of them were. I really love Tarantino in general, even though I do have qualms with some of his work. Yeah. But going into this movie, hearing this was one of the best Tarantino movies ever. A lot of people were calling it their favorite Tarantino mm. t- Tarantino movie. What? Yeah, I won't. I won't go. I won't yes. go there. But I, I. That's why I do want to Bro. revisit it because I do. I actually, I can see your hypothesis. <laughs> yeah. um, but I, I happen to really enjoy the film. I thought that the the writing of the film, like like always, it's just such a stamp on what he does and the way that he does it, <laughs> and developing the the characters of the relationship between Brad Pitt and DiCaprio. I thought DiCaprio played this kind of aging star just brilliantly. And it's the brilliant. stuff that happened. Bril- yeah. Brilliantly. And brilliantly. I is. agree with you. I did enjoy the movie yeah. for a lot of it. But there was just parts of it stuff, that I was like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. I He's the s- last movie star. Yeah, I DiCaprio. Who? Oh. DiCaprio. I mean, yeah. Brad Pitt's putting up a, a fight, too. because he's, he's good, right. too. Dude, he was, he's so good in this movie. Did they de-age him in this movie? No. Uh, he is hot. Brad Pitt. Holy yeah. crap. He is, man, he was so good in this Production movie. Production design and, yeah. and the costume design looked fantastic. Yo, he takes That's his shirt off at one point. One I was like... The roof side. That's no, the whole shredding. scene. Are you kidding? Is it like the Ryan Lochte one we saw earlier? Right. I mean, kind of. <laughs> and then when he goes to... Uh, they get a load of me. At the ranch, the whole ranch scene... You didn't like the ranch scene? Uh, it was fine. Oh, it I was love the ranch it scene. was it was really good until I was like, wow, we've been here for forty five minutes. Yeah, I mean that was that was the the thing. It's a it's a very long film. But and that's the other thing that kept bringing me out. So okay, we've got my favorite girl from Leftovers who's in this, uh, who it was the daughter during season one, oh. um, who I was obsessed with. The guy who's playing. I don't know if people know who he's playing, so I won't say that actually. Yeah. But uh, the one that was cast as Elvis Presley is in this right. movie. People Damian know. Lewis is in this. Is really? Stephen Queen for like one yeah. scene. Yeah, oh, the nice. Luke Perry uh, oh, yeah. aspect of this that like choked me up yeah. a lot too. But also like I just kept getting taken out with all these things that kind of were uh, just pulling me out a little bit because um, the girl Robin, who's Uma Thurman, Ethan Ethan Hawke's Stranger daughter, Things. being yeah. in this as well. You know, and yeah, she was in Stranger Things, so that. For a second as well, just there were so so many stars, so studded this cast that I just kept being like, uh, and these people would have like two lines or one yeah. line. It was like boom, star, 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 that, star. Dakota Fanning. What was she in that movie? Okay, that's what Ben said to me too. Yeah. She is the redhead. Hmm. Is she really? She's the redhead. No, she's the she's really. 20, she's that is Dakota line. Fanning. Holy shit. That's Dakota Fanning. Wow. So I, I can sort of understand then why you're saying you maybe don't necessarily want to see it again is because instead of it having something for you to latch on to, like you said, on an emotional standpoint, it became more of like, a, oh, there's that star. Oh, there's that person. Mm-hmm. There's that. And I, it becomes almost. It, it was just so like many different stories popping in. Mm. But yeah, kind of. Set the opposite way with that, though, because of the whole fight. I like that I didn't recognize Dakota Fanning because it I just did. kind of blend, yeah, it blended me. into it. So like, I couldn't a, believe you guys didn't recognize no, there these were, people. There were a lot of people. People that I, so I didn't feel that way because it was there was it wasn't like oh now this star has a big scene. Mm-hmm. All the characters felt real. The time period felt real. I, I, like I said, I wish Sharon Tate would have more to do. Right. Um, but there was still there, I never felt like oh that's that's this movie star. Like Kurt Russell pops in. It's like it's like it's a great scene that he Martin has. Cove. People, Martin Cove. Martin Cove is in it for like a, a, for a second. Are they playing yeah. wow. themselves? No. no. Is anybody playing themselves? No. This is a okay. different time. Yeah, it's gotcha. a different time. But anyway, uh, once upon I, a time. I think we both agree that if, you, well, if you're a Tarantino fan. It's super duper worth seeing. You have to go you see it. You have to go see like, it. You have but to go see it. I, I, I think that it will take me a few years to be like, oh, I'm yeah. going to check that out again. I, after watching it and then sitting, because I walked out with Roka and Roka said the same thing. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. And I said, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's long. That's, and I was exhausted. But after thinking about it, I would definitely watch that movie again. Like, there's some crazy In shit. In the background of things, I, I, don't, I don't revisit Tarantino movies very no. often. And I'll also only watch them now if it's like, if I turn on HBO or something like that and it's on, I'll watch like a 40 minute of it. And then next thing you know, I'll watch another 40 minutes in yes. a month. Yes. See, it's like, that's I, the kind of I, stuff I, I like doing with him. I think he's one of the most brilliant. He's brilliant. There's no question about it. That's why I'm excited no about, about this it. news, by the way, with Kill, if, if Kill Bill, he's been talking to Uma Thurman about Kill Bill Volume 3. And for all accounts, he's been saying that he's only doing one more movie. 
directing right on. one more. Not right. including Star Trek. He said that would be like 10.5 if that happens. But Kill Bill kind Volume of. 3 would would be the last movie, right? If, if he's going to only do one more. Does that closes. count? Uh, right. So the, what what counts and what doesn't? Well, because it's a trilogy, actually, technically, there's a loophole yeah. if I want it to be. So, Pulp, Pulp it, Fiction is his best movie, hands down. See, I love Kill Bill Volume One and Volume Two. Better than Pulp Fiction. Better than Pulp Fiction. What you decided to show? What you decided to show? What you what you stay at the Spring Hill Suites? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. He just come back from San Diego. Yeah, but yeah, straight up. But what me, happened? Uh, no, I, I'm moving out of my apartment at USC, so. Uh, graduating? Yeah, I graduated. RB3 is her leadership. Wow, yeah. fight on. <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. And we'll talk to our guest, RB3, in just a moment here. Um, but to finish up this conversation, like, so Kill Bill Volume 3, if he indeed decides to do that with Uma Thurman, who's having conversations, let's say it's his last mm-hmm. movie, do you think it's the, it's the one that he should end with? And are you excited? Could not be more excited, yes. obsessed with Kill Bill, obsessed with Uma Thurman. Me too. Think that it, he is the, made to make Kill Bills. Like, that's what he should be doing for... I love what he does with them. So, yes, I think it could be his last... Yes, I think if he's calling it his last movie, he should do that, although I think he'll come back in a few years. Right. And, yes, I want him to be working on this. Yes, yes, all around. I think, all it'll, be yes. called, I think it'll be called Kill Beatrix. I don't think it'll be called Kill Bill. Because, well, because Bill's dead. Bill's dead, in and real life. he's talked about this for a long time. In the beginning of Kill Bill Volume 1, the... Uh, what is it? It's it's, it's, it's Vivica Fox. Fox. I don't remember her character's name, but I was as she she was the one. Her daughter was looking up, and and Tarantino said it back then. I want I want to in ten years from now, which would ultimately be like fifteen, would make a movie about her mm. hunting mm-hmm. down Beatrix. But do you think that name recognition wise, it's smarter marketing to do Kill Bill Volume Three? No, it's just Tarantino. That's all. Doesn't make a difference what it's called. Norm, and I know where you're coming from because we've had this conversation many times with Transformers. And this, uh, I think Tom's right. I think that when you get when you get Tarantino's name, when it, like you look at Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, everyone. Well, let's see how it does. Bu- right, but they're also buzzing around because you know it's Tarantino's new movie. Yeah, so his name is on Tarantino, the billboard, and it would guarantee you if it was his last movie, that's how they're going to market it. Sure. That Tarantino's last film, Kill Beatrix, um, and with Uma Thurman, people would. Pretty much get quick that it was Kill Bill. I think. What do you mm-hmm. think? And Hope Plus. Oh, right? it, it instantly. I mean, it's again. I know Uma's been in a lot of his movies, so yeah. there's that. But the minute you even remotely see that, and if you put like, if it is from Vivica's daughter's perspective, if you even put her remotely in the same jumpsuit or something like it, her own version yes. of it, you'll instantly yeah. get it. And yes, I, I think, yes. I think I think the connections. Would do you be think there. it would be Zendaya? That's the daughter. <laughs> she can do it. No, Why are you, you laughing? You don't think so? I don't think that. Nah. Why did they take your mic away from you? He says, "Come back." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why, why don't you think so? I, I actually being think late. that it's a big possibility. Yeah, because she's she's young enough, and she's the hottest thing there is right now. Right, and she's and she's proven she's a pretty good actress. Ridiculous, and, Euphoria yeah. is like Euphoria. I thought she was great and far from home. Why are you yeah. laughing? She's great. I'm, I'm only laughing because I have a I have a friend. Uh, she's a couple of years older. She's like late 30s. She's got two young kids, and she was watching Euphoria, and she's like. My children are never going out ever. Right. Like yes. I don't. Uh, she's like, I didn't think up. I'd be that old fuddy duddy, but I can't deal with all these. Jokes. No, Everything the is happening. Bad. Like so, <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I, I love the show. So yeah, yeah, people love it. But all your homies are from the street. I mean, these these are facts. You know, nice. So I, you said we were doing Mr. Rogers, so I had to bring some and, sort of. And everybody yes. listening on iTunes right now is just like, what did she yes. just say? <laughs> <then?"> yeah, <laughs> Sesame Street. Yeah, that's true. You in a oh, lot of trouble right yeah. now. Yeah. They Thank you. Know. All right, RB3. So why, RB3, why, why do you think Zendaya should not be in the in the Kill Kill Bill? Um, well, I think she's a fantastic actress, um, but I think for Tarantino, I mean, and also, yeah, you're right. Euphoria, it's, it's to me, is my favorite thing on TV. Um, but I think. For a Tarantino movie, there's a specific type that he looks for, yes. and I think spe- specifically for Kill Bill, it would probably be very. I mean, it could be Zendaya, but also I think back to like how Vivica A. Fox looks too. I don't see any resemblance between like her and we Zendaya. We don't know what her husband looked like. Oh yeah, we don't know what her husband okay. looked like, but the daughter was. You know, they did, we saw how the daughter looked True. to some extent too, but that might not matter. Well, did I just you see Big Little Lies? She certainly didn't look like a young Zoe Kravitz. But I didn't love that show. Uh, I didn't see. I haven't seen that show. Oh, okay. But I mean, no, I it could it could be Zendaya. I just rather I think Tarantino yeah. will find somebody like literally out of he, he, the middle of Kentucky. Really, like, he doesn't and, usually do that. Well, pluck and, someone. Mm-hmm. He plucks someone that's recognizable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, who's so? Uh, oh my God, Tessa Thompson's another one who probably could Tessa be Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson, maybe could be someone who. But, you don't think um, she's in everything. Old? Not necessarily. What is she, 27? You know who I like to see? Oh, I don't know. I think uh, that could be a full is that how I think old I just, she is? No. 
I think I just mm. guessed that. The the um I like Tessa. The the girl who just got uh cast is uh, 35. 35. Yeah, as, okay. as Monica Monica Rambo. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. T- yeah, yeah. Tiana, uh, Tiana Paris. Tiana mm-hmm. Paris. I think she'll be great for that that kind yeah. of part. Okay. Because she, she, in? Yeah, but she was like, in Chirac, she was in she was the lead in Dear White People, the lead the lead in oh, like yeah, 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 she's yeah. been the lead in like a lot of things. Okay. So I don't know. Tiana Paris. He likes, How, to, he likes what to get age? people like yeah, that. She's thirty one also. Who Tessa? But she also kind of looks a little bit like Vivica, though. You yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that. I think that would be yeah. a much more fitting. Right. Well, either it's, it's, and it's fun to do what, now. Like yeah. What age would somebody need to be? Do we think? Well, I mean, Character. it depends on when they do it. Because if, right. if we look, 2003 is when that came out. That girl was like 10. Well, or maybe 12. In the, in the movie, they said her character was four. They said she was four? Yeah. In the movie. Maybe you're looking at 25. Is that girl. true? 25. If, if I'm not mistaken. Can you pull up a picture like, of what she looked like? I don't. Just, yeah. But she did look older. She did look older. Okay. So, but it could, I think, yeah. But they could also say it was 20 years. You yeah. Know? So they can, yeah. Make, they can make her anywhere between like 25 and 30 if they wanted to. For sure. Right. I mean, you're 50 if they want. Ben Affleck's head just fell off. Just That's to not give true. Updates I told about you to watch his head. <laughs> yeah. no, I can't wait to go watch the playback of this where literally there's a moment. That you literally had an so, and I oh, moment like with who does that, who does you that, just that, said it. Oh, you did it. Who, who does that? You look just like? said yeah, but it. Uh, but dude's yeah, yeah, like Ben Affleck. Yeah, like Ben Affleck. Yeah, yeah. Ben Affleck's in the studio. <laughs> I, I, I what world are you on? <laughs> <laughs> I, he looks you watch movies. Don't you watch movies, right? I'm from Boston. How do you not know that's him? <laughs> I, you could. I, I can go on a street right now and find somebody laying in the dumpster, and they'll know that's Ben Affleck. It's something about his middle face. It's awesome. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> All right, listen. Anyway, don't, do that, don't do that. Don't do that. Watch the, the episode. The other, the other thing I was going to ask. So RB3 is here, by the way. That looks like Ben way. Affleck. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that put is it right, Affleck. Put it right next yeah. to him. Yeah. RB3, a couple things to talk to you about here. That's why you're here today. Um, exactly. The first is that uh, I told you this. Can you pay attention, please, Janel? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the first thing uh, is that I told I told Cody this right away. I told, uh, I told Ellis this, and I told you. Okay. One of my favorite things about Comic Con, if not my favorite thing, was having breakfast with you every morning at the at the Spring Hill Suites. We, oh yeah, we, had, we just it was just very relaxing before the calm before the storm. Every morning. Right, right, yeah, it's, it was exactly that. And then you know, we did had, you pay for him? No, it was complimentary. Oh, yeah. It was, it was all complimentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's probably what he. If, if I would have paid, he would have liked it a lot more too. Probably a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But no, you know, it was. Did you uh, get that from me real quick? Yeah. No, no. But uh, it was funny because we we first had breakfast on that Thursday morning. Right. But then the night before, I think we had the maybe the funniest Uber ride. I've probably ever been in. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Better than so. Dangerfield? It, it, it was better, yeah. We, really? So we were coming back from, uh, it, was it was it Wednesday night? It was uh, Wednesday night, yeah. It was Wednesday, Wednesday, night. Wednesday night. So yeah. was that continuing yeah, we were all, that, that yeah, night? Yeah, we, we had a big We night. were all hammered. I hate you guys. I'm that. so sorry, Roxy. But we got into this uh, Uber, and the guy, was, the, the Uber driver was great, but we, but El, it was me, Ellis, and RB3, and Ellis and I were just kind of on, you know, and we, <laughs> we must have went on the 10-minute diatribe about the bagel guy. Right. And and the, 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 best. the Uber driver started off with this look on his face, like, okay, great, drunk people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He left like he'd just been front row to, like, uh, an Eddie Murphy <laughs> yeah. saying a comedy yeah. Yeah. Back, in, back in the day. Oh, like, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and RB3 was just losing, losing it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That was dope. It's yeah. so wild to have his actual laugh in studio. In studio because right, you yeah. just keep thinking that Cody's playing the sound bite over <laughs> and over again. Yeah, you got to look over and see it. Yeah. Um, it's true. But it was, so, yeah, we did that. And then we had breakfast the next morning. It was, it was great. It was wonderful. Mm-hmm. It was you didn't go. You weren't there. Mm. Um, I not <laughs> not right. Can I come was... retroactively? I think I ate like one. Right. There was only one Comic-Con. other person that joined us during our breakfast. Darina. The, last day. the last day. Do you want to guess who it was? Darina. It was not Darina. Uh, Jay Alice. Washington. It was not Jay Rachel. Washington. It was not Rachel. There was only one person in this entire the person. Mm-hmm. Corpse Ben Affleck. Alex. Yeah. The person is here. Can the person reveal themselves? John Cena. Cody. Cody Hall showed up, hey. and, and I think he was. I don't know if he was hung over or too. But I gotta tell you, I loved Cody Hall's outfit. He came in like these shorts and shirts, but these hiked up black socks and oh, didn't yeah. give a fuck. <laughs> he just doesn't. <laughs> no, it was great. He's, He's about agenda. to be a daddy. Yes, he is. Uh, he had a big agenda. Wait, what? You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. You about to have a baby? Uh, oh, yep. yeah. In like three what? days. Exactly. Congratulations. Is it three man. days? Cody? No, 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 no. Two weeks or something. Three days. Oh. Damn. No, no, right? What's uh, the due date? 
Uh, August, August 17th. 17th. I knew it. Yeah, so why are you yeah. asking if you knew it? I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. Grammy's birthday, so I just wanted to prove I knew it. Oh, okay. mm. No, no, but for real, do you need some? I just went to my, my homie's diaper party back in Dallas, and we bought all different sizes because we don't we didn't know the difference when we went What's to a diaper shopping. party. Yeah, I'll take it. it's, it's like a, it's like a it's I adults guess. adults dressed up in diapers. Essentially, the <laughs> like the male version, I guess, of like a baby shower <laughs> where like literally all you do is <laughs> invite your bros over, and they bring you diapers, and you get drunk. Like, that's it. Nice. So that's, that's essentially what we did. We I just like all it. brought them different sizes. You should have one of those, Cody. I'll be your dual. None Sounds of my scumbag like like friends did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, now, well, yeah, because yeah, uh, our friends wear them. But the other thing at the at the breakfast, what, what? I found, yeah, my buddy Perm. He, if you ask him questions, he's gonna he was wearing diapers. <laughs> just to this see is like him can, being having he, sex he to, with Darina's belly button or whatever the hell was happening <laughs> yesterday. Oh right. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. <laughs> Darina talked about how you you kept bringing up her belly button at the thing. She she she's someone that could just shoot you down pretty fast. Yeah. Well, my buddy. Yeah. Well, it depends <laughs> how. Your buddy. Okay. <laughs> your buddy well, it depends how in your belly button goes because I know some <laughs> guy who had sex with a girl's belly button. So oh. how oh. tiny was his penis? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> no, she was a big girl, so I don't know what. <laughs> it was a lot that of work. Was, that was the conversation. Yeah. He was having. <laughs> now that I remember that. It was a lot of work. I did do this, you and I this. wish I didn't. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's do you have an innie or an outie belly button? A very big innie. Yeah. Oh, wow. See? Oh, really? So I maybe that could happen to you. In there. It could happen know? to you. Listen. It could happen to you. <laughs> You, listen, Three skittles. Yeah, but that's I not big enough. Guys, we penis, were driving yeah. down the street. I know. And we were there, and you just took the fucking wheel and you <laughs> swung it into a tree. I'm so upset. Uh, I mean, you know yeah, where I go with stuff like this conversation. Yeah. Reverse. <laughs> reverse. 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 You, reverse. you, had, you got the car accident. What is this day? <laughs> reverse. Reverse. Yeah, 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 Put it in reverse, yeah, Terry. No, oh Lord. No, you, you backed up on the highway. Yeah. And then made a right, and we got hit by I a bus. I went onto the wrong entrance of the highway. I went on the exit ramp. So did his friend with the belly button. Yeah. So we are. Now, now, at breakfast, we the so conversations that we had, and we started talking about RB 3s working on some projects, mm-hmm. and he's working on uh, you got working on a, a, a campaign right now, right? Yeah, Indigo, a, Indiegogo campaign. Yeah, uh, nice, yeah it's, it's for a short film that um, I'm co-directing with uh, a good buddy of mine, Kate Hughesby. We worked together on a lot of projects together, mm-hmm. um, and we, including Flick Ticks and with Ken Napsack, and we did this other documentary called Artists of Venice, and we uh, we. Uh, we were raising money. We have this producer. Her name's Mass and Lynn. She's like the top. This is all like USC kind of. You know, I, I graduated. Kate and uh, and our producer Mel. They both go to USC. But uh, our producer, she's produced like five features. She has a whole production company in San Francisco with like a staff and everything. So like this is a pretty like big like kind of production yeah. we're putting together. Yeah. Um, it's a time travel like sci-fi short That's film. Awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, it's cool. We're gonna. Uh, it's the the main story is about. This girl named Jackie, she loses her parents, and uh, she tries to go back in time to like correct that oh, or whatever. Cool. So it's, it's 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 a short film. It's about fifteen minutes long, something like so that. So tell me about the Indiegogo. So what are you guys? Is that your to thesis do? or? Yeah. Your no, it's not a thesis. No, okay. just, just making it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, but yeah, it's the Indiegogo. We're trying to raise like seven thousand okay. um, dollars. Where are you at right now? Ooh, we're, just starting. Uh, yeah, we're just starting. Okay. Yeah, but okay. um, we have the campaign going for like the next for I believe the next ten days, nine okay. days. Great. And then um, and we are hoping to. I mean, it's a flexible goal, so. We're, whatever money we can raise, we're gonna we're gonna take. But you're hoping um, that's, that's that 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 would make you guys comfortable to get the thing done. That, so. that will make us. That will put us to like the top tier. But it, you what know, what does the seven thousand dollars go to? We uh, right set now we're yes, yeah, that building production design. Uh, we we're right now we're looking at like three days of shooting and the main stuff that we're gonna craft services, craft all that services, stuff, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. So um, you know we we're actually secured a location at Griffith Park the other day oh, great. to film some parts there. Great. Um, we, we're trying to build another elaborate we're kind of going for a mixture of like back to the future meets like looper meets like you know a lot of coming of age it's, it's yeah, really yeah. like a coming of age kind of story so, so where is the fans wanted to help you out and, and go check this out because they want to see this this short film where, where do right. they go well you could you could look up you could look up our uh, indiegogo campaign on indiegogo.com um Look up the film Timestamp. That's the name of the title. Okay. Um, pinned to your Twitter? Is it pinned yeah, it's, to pinned Twitter? On, it's pinned on my Twitter account. It's the link in my bio for my Instagram account. Both handles are at director RB3. Um, and we'll also be, uh, and yeah, and we also will have a campaign going. Uh, 
we we'll also have the campaign going for the next 10 days. Okay. And we have a bunch of different tiers. Uh, $5 tier is the minimum, is the minimum like to receive perks. But you could donate whatever you want. And the perfect thing about asking for only 7000 is that if like maybe 1% of the people here donate like a dollar, we're gonna we're we're gonna get there pretty quickly. Yeah, pretty quick. Um so yeah, if yeah, if you put in a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you could donate will be greatly appreciated. And if you can't donate, just sh- share, we tweet, um, all that stuff. So Ser- serious question. My bank account looks ridiculously low right now, right. but I do have an actual can I give you an actual dollar? <laughs> yeah, 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 nah, yeah, 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 I'll take it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll take whatever I can. I do want to contribute. Yeah. I wanna contribute. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I wanna help too. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Can I do. come? Fuck it, there's five, yeah. dog. Oh, man, I, got, I don't want to take the whole five, man. Oh, man. man. All right, you get, you get the five dollar tier, man. We'll hook up with the five dollar tier. What did you say was called again? One more time. Uh, Timestamp. Timestamp. Time time yeah, stamp. yeah. And it's an incredibly diverse cast. We already did the casting for awesome. it. Um, and uh, pretty much like all black leads that we're doing for it and then it's also going to be um we're like the team that we're assembling is like the avengers of like usc production students oh, like cool. this is like the top you tier guys in it. Yeah, yeah 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 we're, we're trying to you know and every, obviously people watch this show probably know me to some extent like i have a lot of production experience we yeah. all have a lot of production experience so it's gonna be a super fire project well, congratulations man that's thank really you. awesome yeah, still, uh, thank the you. other thing besides being a very talented filmmaker rv3 he is a <laughs> sneaker connoisseur yes he is always wearing the best <laughs> he is always trying to he is a sneaker kind of Some Jordans. I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah. No, yeah. Shoes. None okay. of you will ruin this, this for me. I've no. been waiting for this moment for a year. This is, so it's, been, it's been set up for a little bit, so you're going to love this story. So there's a reason that, that we have this eclectic cast here today. <laughs> okay. So, so <laughs> back in the funny. day, during the Schmoes No Show. Um, what, about know, three years ago? Two or three years ago, right? Yeah. So yeah. Tom Dagnino was a guy who used to he used to get the Yeezys, right? He used yeah, to, he used yeah. To, and he had them. And you were really excited one day, mm-hmm. and then so so what happened? He gave them to you. He sold them to you. Well, we told the world that he gave them to me. Correct. But but I really put t- we really put down like two hundred for him. You yeah. sold two hundred. So you sold him two hundred dollars. Yeah. He sold you these Yeezys. You liked them. You walked right. around. Why? Yeah. Me, so, why did you tell the world that he gave them to you? Well, uh, because it was just for the show. <laughs> Never had Brit Lucio on there. We he were wanted to make, the, the real answer because I know him. He, was, he wanted to make it look like he was this giving Good person. Guy, yeah. that was good, that, I really am. But yet you challenge. You, but no, wait, it was wait, a you, gift. You're, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have an opportunity to talk in a second. Technically, we're, it was a gift. Uh, listen to me. Technically, look, it was te- not. technically it was not. We're yeah. gonna finish with the story. Okay. I saw some money change hands. Apparently, just okay. just just, just okay. wait. Fair. Okay. Fair. Right, relax. So, would you say two hundred or two fifty? Just relax, Luke P. So we we I love now that guy. he's my favorite. <laughs> so we now we he sells you these things for two hundred dollars. You yeah. walk around with them, people are loving them, they're complimenting on yeah. it. Around six or seven months ago I get an email and a text from you <laughs> that says what? Uh, hey man, I went to get the Yeezys verified. I was gonna, I was, I was actually gonna sell, I was actually gonna sell them because I wanted to put some money. So to finish, finish, finish. And literally, like the, the shits were fake, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so, <laughs> you sold. Okay, a- now I can talk. Now I can talk. <laughs> so we sold RB three two hundred dollar fake Yeezys, unknowingly. Unknowingly. <laughs> so here's the deal. I got. You can't just say now I can talk and then <laughs> start talking. I got this three years ago. Okay. I got 15 pairs from my buddy in Germany. Mm-hmm. Okay, I bought them retail. Okay, he's like, I'll give well, you these on much? retail. Two hundred bucks. Okay, two two so fifty. So whatever. You also it was. got ripped off. No. Oh, I flipped them in the Melrose Market. I made like six grand. Oh, okay. So. So, so here's what I, I didn't sell them. Somebody else did. But here's <laughs> here's here's what it, here's what it was. Even at Back three years ago, uh-huh. the market for, I, I guess, fakes isn't it is what it is now. Mm-hmm. Now it's crazy. You find them anywhere. You can go down downtown Los Angeles and get them anywhere. Sure. You, know, you don't even know. That being said, where did you go? Yada, yada, yada. Where did you go to get them verified? Um, I went to like one of the... You one of those. Them. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Where these, did you go to get them verified? Actually, these are still dope shoe. Yeah, they're still dope $200 shoe. $200 is a bargain for Listen, that. Listen, no, if, if, if they were like actually real, it would have been a steal. Like, oh, it was really too good to believe. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's why I was saying it was a gift. <laughs> how, much, how, much, how much do really easies go for? Is for that, these? Yeah, if they yeah, were real. If I were to sell these, this would be like if, easy, if, like if they were real. three grand, four grand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Brand new. So you're thinking, look, 
Yeah. Three, four grand normally these things go. And this motherfucker selling me for 200 bucks. Of course I'm like, yeah, oh, that's yeah, why I was yeah, saying yeah, it yeah. was a gift. Yeah. Because oh, well, I thought they were real. So I'm like, I'm giving him a thousand dollar pair of shoes at for, that point. Did for you really, $200. Did you really know that they're Can't did you think that My they're buddy real? from Germany <laughs> works for Nike. He works for Nike. <laughs> Nike? Or they're Adidas. Yes. They're Adidas. I understand well, that. Yeah. Right. But exactly. well, that's, he's wait, a big sneaker guy. This is my point, by the way. This is my point. So you should know they're fake because his buddy doesn't even work for Nike. He works for Nike. Yeah. Right. And they're He's, not like he's that was this guy Sven. My buddy Shane hooked me up with him. Look, oh, yeah. I made a lot of money off the sneakers. Yes. I thought I was doing this guy a favor, you, giving him for two hundred bucks. You didn't know that they were fake, but no, I did not. But, but can <laughs> I ask a question though? He based, look, at, with, I sold. Well, somebody else sold the ones in the thing. And I'm no, done. All right, I'm done. With I got nine hundred dollars for a pair I of turtle. I just want to know what in what world do you pay for gifts to yourself? Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like I understand a hookup. That's a hookup. Right. That's that's a solid. Like I got you, bro. Like, I'm a businessman. Cool. So so that. <laughs> I, li- I don't know many businessmen that <laughs> yeah. give gifts. All right? There's always some well, sort of thing. Well, you it was you a do gift. and you give a $200 gift that you know is fake. <laughs> yeah. he, he was going. He would, Yeah, but even if those are fake, you still can't get them for less than 300 bucks. The f- That's so, a three $400 okay. sneaker fake. Okay. <laughs> so you knew they were fake. No, I did not. You had an fake. assumption. You could, thought they could be fake. No, the one pair I sold. Yes. Well, somebody else sold. Yes. The one guy was like, this looks exact. This is a perfect sneaker. Right. He goes, this one little dot off there. He goes, I don't know. He goes, and you know, I told her to tell her it was a variant or whatever. Right. And the guy bought it for like seven hundred dollars. So, right, so here's the thing. So if that was the case that you knew that that variant was BS, mm-hmm. then it is hard for me to believe that you didn't know that no, you were selling him well, two hundred dollar fake. The shoes. guy also said it was a variant. So where did you go and what? They, how did they verify that it was fake? Because well, I'm not up on that. Like and like in my defense, I really could have just checked it on the spot. The thing is, they don't make them in half sizes. So right? <laughs> Ooh, that's that's probably it then. <laughs> this is eleven. So that was just a number one uh, hey bro, i don't know i don't even have those yeah no this is 11 and a half and then they looked up the code and the code didn't match the code that was in the box oh voila then that's, that's, that's it yeah, yeah. i'll tell you what it's still a dope shoe though no it's nice i mean listen yeah. like i i definitely got to rock it for like two and a half yeah, years but, even now it, real. but i'll tell you what nowadays <laughs> even if you do have the real sneaker people are going to think it's fake it just is what it is yeah. 90 percent of the now yeah, I've but, done, you're, but, you're I, but i've done a lot of research you, your do you I this was also this. two and a half Tom, years ago Tom. when fakes were in abundant as they are now do you know what a scam artist you sound like i'm not i just am <laughs> curious but, hey I, I, I made a lot of money so i really don't care so, even if those are fake i, I still think 200 dollars is a bargain for that shoe right. it's he a gift got, probably, you're not probably got laid wearing those it's that's enough it's keep calling it a gift that's that's the issue that, is that I don't have a problem with you like making some money and hooking a homie up but like, <laughs> he don't know the gift I gave him right, right. ass <laughs> like that is did you get laid wearing shit. those you don't understand I'm see, doing this see movie. you're wearing <laughs> them when you get laid I mean like I, I, would. I, I think it was a contributor I mean yeah so, see, that's, I, see, but, that was the but, thing but, when but I it was a false bill right. of goods she thought that she thought they were real hold yeah, on I yeah. missed that whole story what happened so he asked Tom asked him if, if he got laid because of the shoes in RB3 he said yes and I said to me that's worth 200 bucks well, see, that was see what I said. See, okay, so like that's why when I brought these, I didn't really, I didn't really. That's why I didn't even look. I didn't even think to like Google it. I didn't think yeah, to like you're check. Because to me, I was like, hey man, I'm trying to get laid. I'm trying that's to get all paid. That look, and I'm trying to go viral. Side, on the side, I was in crazy. Like, yeah, see, it was worth it. It was worth yeah. it. <laughs> Here's the thing: I could go to Target right now and buy a new Reptar shirt and get laid. So like, don't, yeah, don't that do should, that. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't do it, that. I'm sure like, the shoes. Swag is swag, regardless of what it is. You have to buy it. True. Right. But what I'm saying is, don't don't say. What I mean by that specifically is, don't don't be like, yeah, man, those are the best two hundred dollars you ever spent. No, 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 no. Just get some, get some swag and some game, <laughs> and be respectful, like, and I, you don't need to do that. It's like a form like, of prostitution tr- that you're pitching. True. True. <laughs> I still like think a very roundabout middleman yeah. ass way of prostitution. Oh my At god! Two, you still can't find those even fake now for less than like three fifty. <laughs> That's a sweet shoe. You yeah. can probably look at look at uh, what they did with the Dapper Dan Gucci bringing it back. The old Gucci stuff bro, that Sloppy Robbie's wearing. Let me ask you a that stuff is five hundred dollars <laughs> now. Me, it's a two dollars shirt. Let me ask you a question. How have you never sold cars? <laughs> no, you I mean, should have been, uh, bro. You should have been out here rolling with what was his name, Billy, that did the fire festival. You killing it right oh now. God. You, you well, are your hustle. I mean, shit. 
Well, no, no, I'm a day trader. No, because he, I'm a day trader knows, he knows to avoid the bad hustles. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you can't you can't sell grilled cheese with a piece of lettuce on it and say, oh, this is a five star. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, 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 would, he he didn't get caught until like three years later. Yeah. I mean, real talk. The way I, I didn't know I was these fakes. Get, maybe he could sell someone know, a five true. star grilled cheese with some lettuce on it. I mean, look, the, sh- <laughs> the shoe is still beautiful. I don't own them. I don't own any pairs anymore. They, yeah, 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 yeah. I sold them. You sold them. They're all. so beautiful. Sold, sold someone else. Any. Someone else. No, I sold them and then oh. I get other stuff. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? But uh, <laughs> I don't I haven't talked to this guy Sven in a long time. So maybe I'll call him up and be like, "Yo, bro, you selling me fakes or whatever?" He's like, "Dude, I give him re- retail anyway." So, so you'd be deal? okay. You'd be okay with that as long as he cuts you in on the deal. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, he gave me retail. I was like, dude, I'm buying Yeezys at retail. So right. I gave him like 1500 bucks or whatever it was. Right. He's probably like, cool. So this was I just saw this business. guy. So fakes you lost variants. money. No. Oh. I flipped them back for triple the money. Oh, my bad. I thought you spent fifteen on these. No, no, 200 That's why I was like, oh. I'm just going to give him the $200. So you gave him the price that you paid. So you, really right, right. Were, I gave so him you the were price just middleman at that point. Right. That's right. exactly so, what I was. Okay. That's what I owe Now I understand why you keep sense. using the word gift. It right. doesn't still work that way, but I understand now why that that's what you <laughs> what were saying. What would you saying. call it? So he basically, he had, his sta- he had his stash that he was selling to everybody for 1500 or whatever. It was 700 Yeah. But then to RB3, his buddy, he gave the 200 I do a small flex wham for a day and sell them. So I'll put it to you this way. It was a discount, not a gift. So that $5 yeah, I just gave one. him, that was a gift. Yeah. I gave him $5 because I want him <laughs> to be happy and, and prosperous. That's not even a I gift. That's not even a gift because right. he's going to give you something for it. Well, yeah. I don't need, but I don't even need it. You can keep it. give it to somebody else. That's it's a, a gift as well. That's yeah. a donation. donation. Right. That's a, a donation to give versus, it's not like Christian gave you $5 said when RB3 come in and give him this $5. <laughs> and right. Tell right. Him right. Yeah, but remember <laughs> when I met you, remember when I first <laughs> met you at the Dodger game and I was sitting in the front row Yeah. I came out and gave all your boys and you hot dogs and shit? So that was a gift. Yeah, that was a gift. This is not. <laughs> this is a discount. Because I never even met him. It's a full discount. Yeah. I'm sure. Hundred dollars was for the shoes and I'm for the I'm sure hot dogs. I provided so RB3 sick. with no. a ton of laughter that would make yeah. up for the two hundred dollars exactly. that yeah. go for the shoes. Were ship. you upset when you found out they were fake? Oh yeah, I was fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what are you doing selling gifts for? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't it's listening. Man. I, I was so trying, trying to get some money. Yeah, but hey, you're going to sit back and what you going to give me my two hundred back? It was the ultimate flip, bro. Yeah, but still, that's what I'm saying. I was doing what you were doing. Was I your first call to that? Or did you reach out to him at all? No, I, 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 to you, I had to you first. Yeah, Cause you, yeah, yeah. Okay, because you wanted yeah. you wanted to do this. Let yeah. me ask you this, RB three. Do you believe that Tom did not know? Honestly, Man, I, I think he knew. Like, <laughs> yeah, see, that, see, that's what. See, it's funny because I watched. You know, one of the first episodes I watched of the Schmelz No Show was the one where the first episode that Tom got introduced, okay. and like, and just everything he said was just great. Yeah, it yeah. was it was amazing. Yeah, you know, he's always been my favorite. Like, <laughs> yeah. so, so I don't know I, why. You know, I kind of should have connected the dots. You're like, right. You, know, you should know. You should know. Right. You're getting yeah, the bad yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me see these real quick. Yeah. <laughs> but they look. That's they look real close. suede. They look this close. is three years old. Yeah, there is. No flaws in these things. No, he takes care of his I'd shoes. I still wear it? these things. Yeah. 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 Nah. I, I mean, just got my so shoes what were they? Three months if ago they were real, I've they were going to give you cash. Shit all over them. Yeah. They would. They would have had me cash on the spot. Yeah. But they would have hit you for like pawn shop stuff. They would give me like I because they know you need the money at that point. Because if you're going in there selling, so, so they're was, not going to get. They're so these are these are. Grand. Well, these are like the most exclusive version. Of the right. So it was Correct. a bit. It was a bit embarrassing though too when you went in there, right? That's, oh yeah. That's, that's probably why you got. Well, did they offer you money? Uh, nah, they nah, they no. So get the fuck out of here. Well, they're looking for the official stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's, listen, that's one of those, like, license stores. Not, not like, go ahead. I was just going to say, that's like that's like one of those things where, like, you, you're in a marriage or whatever, and then you're like, you know, I'm upon this ring, then I'm going to show it. I'm sorry, it's a super zirconium motherfucker. And it's a what? fugazi. It's, it's a fugazi. fugazi. <laughs> yeah, but why is everybody going to pawn gifts? Do you? <laughs> it's not a gift. It's the same thing happened with this you? girl I used to I date in high school. I bought her some diamond earrings. They were fake, obviously. Right. She was, like, trying to sell them. I'm like, bitch, really? Hey, whoa, what are you sorry. Did you think... RB3, do you think that they thought you knew they were fake? Um, nah, they thought they thought I. Well, I mean, maybe. I, I went in there with all confidence. I was like, I, I tried to argue for it. I was like, yo, listen, like they, they gotta be real. They my, gotta be. My like, buddy would never do this. Yeah, thing. he would never. <laughs> well, they probably thought you came in and tried to flex them. So where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. these guys are stupid. And then, and then one guy screams things. from the back, "That's those Bobby Gucci yeah. shoes." <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Gucci. Hey man, I made a lot of money off those things. Is this shocking to you at all? <laughs> those gifts. Are these shocking? Those yeah. Gifts. Is this story shocking to you? No, in the no way. I've literally been waiting so long for this. Because one exactly how you thought it would a hundred percent right i mean it's still there's no question about it it's a beautiful shoe let me let me ask you so let me tell you something also 90 percent of the sneakers you see on the street especially yeah. now like virgil's off whites yeah. Virgil uh, from WWE? He, yeah, yeah him oh. uh you know all all the easy everything high end right now 90 percent fake 
Yeah, no, I don't doubt yeah. that. I definitely don't yeah. doubt that. Yeah, 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 but yeah. how does well, that help this situation? Well, because now, now it's so, you know, those fakes are so abundant. Like I said, you go downtown LA, you tell He's the guy he doesn't the have post. he doesn't have enough funds. <laughs> <laughs> and you can be like, yo, where's the where's the easy? They're like, you work for the cops. I'm like, can no, I be go honest? In there and you fucking get whatever you want. Please. You owe RB three two hundred dollars. That's fucking. <laughs> that is <laughs> not even anywhere near. All, all I'm gonna true. say is, you know you've, what? You've given you've given the world so many wonderful gifts. G I F. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> but you should this donate two hundred dollars. You should donate two hundred dollars to the Indiegogo. Yeah, I think he got two hundred dollars out of that. And like. I still say that's a bargain <laughs> at two hundred. Those are a bargain at two hundred. Do, do you think? Do you think he Even owes you? Do you, fake. Do you think he owes you two hundred dollars? Hey man, listen. <laughs> I I don't really. I wasn't planning on wearing these shoes for like too long anyway. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I kind of, you know what I mean. Like, so you, if you want to put in two hundred for the indie, I might be I'm a halfway. I might be a halfway. Because I, mean, I still believe I was right. Okay. Because look, <laughs> you know, like I said, it's a that's still a four hundred dollar pair of sneakers, fake. Look, you I'm, change I'm, that <laughs> price literally every, every time. I know, I know, I know. The, the real thing is, I think the real well, it depends where you go. The yeah. real robbery here is that you were not an agent at some point in the world Seriously. because yeah. you yeah. you are, you will not back down with why your no. client. Yeah, will you was, be my or agent? a lawyer, no. bro? Can, so can you be my lawyer? <laughs> That's one of the best managers in the world. I feel like I'm on a trial and error. This is an error. <laughs> this is an error. This is a big error. Did, do you remember Lou Albano? Oh, or of what? course, Captain Lou. Yeah, my brother used to drink one. It's his He's Captain Lou. Yes, yeah. literally. It's no like, blanking. I just, no. Look, here's the deal. No. Because I'm in my element here. Like, you know, when I'm a, my back's against the wall, I always got to, you know, come out. You got to come out of it. Come out with the nonsense. Sure. Hit him with that kanger, Captain yep. Kangaroo, right. dog. Come mm-hmm. on. I'm on... I think I'll meet him halfway at 100. He's going to hit him in the cap room. He's going to go fuck yeah. himself. <laughs> I'm gonna meet him, I think I'm going to meet him 100 halfway on the Indiegogo. I could possibly do that. Oh, man. But I you, still man. firmly believe in my heart of hearts. You'll never see it. I did not sell him knowingly a fake pair of shoes. So that, that at the 200, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, look, if I'm going there and somebody else is selling them at the Melrose Market for me, there's a hot chick. So... They, I don't think they questioned her, you and I think what? at that time there was no you know fakes on the street, so they're like, "How the hell did he get those? Right, well, Let me well, shop well, them well, up real quick." I, I get it. I understand what's going on now. You got hustled, so you don't want to back down <laughs> off of that fact <laughs> because uh, you got play. I, I will say this: it. I don't, I don't see that happen. Often. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, no. I, 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 well, that's, he might have hustled me, but then I just hustled back. Yeah, yeah. So I double hustled. So it's not a gift. Yeah. So it was a double hustle. So you wanted to make your investment back. But when Christian hit me up, I was pretty surprised. I'm like. Really, they were fakes? Because I haven't dealt with Yeezys in about a year and a half, maybe right. more. Right. But, so, but when you got them, you figure they could be. You don't really care there was, whether or not. There was, right. there was like a, when there was a the thought. Ta- the tag there, launches. There was a thought. There was a thought. I was like, hmm. <laughs> right. But there was nothing. I, I didn't do that much research. I understand. I'm like, I'm going to flip these real quick. Okay. Wear them for like well, a I'm day or two. Right out of the studio, it's time to go. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank everybody here today. What a great, uh, <laughs> great to have RB3. Winston thank Marshall really once again up. coming back. Tom Dagnino, Baba Gooch, uh, Roxy Stray. I like that watch, Roxy. Thank you so much. Cody Hall, hey ben Alex, Alex, Mark Yodi of the Riliest. Uh, guys, thank you so much. We will be back uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow is Wednesday. We will have Kurt Angle calling in 10 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, we're Kurt I like Angle it. calling in. So do that. Make sure you get your tickets for the Schmodown. we got three different events you can go to. If you want to go to New York, get those tickets in New York. going to be there August 31st, September 14th in Arizona, October 19th in Orlando. Tickets are going fast for all three. Get them now. The Schmodown Live.com. See you tomorrow. See you in the head.